see the kid and his mom, and the kid's like, "Oh, I'm a little, oh, I'm a little baby. I'm gonna go to school." Right as I'm about to not, there's a scene where he comes home to see his mom being railed by his school bully, and it's the saddest thing ever because she's trying to be like, "No, no, no, it's not what you think," and he's like, "It's what you think. It's what you think. It's so bad." <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Trash Taste. I'm your host, Connor, joined once again by the beautiful boys, Joey and Garn. And today we're doing top five everything. Uh, yeah. we're, gonna, we're gonna talk about a topic or pull a random topic out of Trash Box Kun. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna decide what the top five of that topic Wait, is. Wait, we have to collectively call Yeah, we have to all agree. We're, not, so, we're never gonna agree. It could be some, It could be as expected as uh, Top five anime, and it could yep. be as unexpected as top five curtain brands. Yep. Uh, you know, it's we have very varied things in I here. I don't think I can name a single curtain. I cannot name a single curtain brand. <laughs> I, IKEA I, account? You know, I guess it would just be I, the stores, right? Yeah. I, yeah. So I guess we have some very varied topics in here. So it's not just the usual suspects that you expect, but okay. we, we have- but there are some here. usual suspects yeah, as well. Let us know yeah. in the comments if you agree with any of our top fives. Yeah, this is based on- This, this is our slow journey to becoming Watch Mojo. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. This is just- We're slowly like, we becoming Watch Mojo. Top Mojo. five list. Yeah, this is based on, I guess, like a TikTok trends that we filmed a Patreon video for, which yeah. is blind rankings, where yeah. we get five specific, uh, where we have to rank five specific things in each yeah, category. It could be like five top five pastors, and then yeah. you, you get them all out of order, but, so you don't know where they actually yeah, are relative. But we to thought it would be more fun to take that and take it to the main channel mm -hmm. and just do our own rankings from scratch. By the way, you can watch that right now if you Ooh, go over to patreon.com slash trash taste. Plug, hey. check it out. All right, I pulled one out. All right, what do we got? What's the first, first category? Top five Nintendo games. Oh. This is a really, <laughs> this is a brutal one to start Where off on. Start? Okay, okay, okay. All number right. one, as, number as one. As the Nintendo boy, I'm gonna go last. No, no, okay, number one, Mario Sunshine. Mario Sunshine at the top, baby. It is the goat. It is the goat. I will have to disagree with that. Uh, do, you, no. <laughs> do you think that a game like Super Mario Odyssey is better than Sunshine? I think, I think Mario 64 is better than Sunshine. Get the fuck out. No, get, get, okay, what do you get, think about get out, Mario get out. Galaxy? Gal mm, no, Sunshine is better than Galaxy. What about- But remember, this is not Mario games. This is Nintendo games. Yeah, so like- yeah. So no. So if we're not putting Mother 2 on this list, then I'm gonna walk out. What the fuck is Mother 2? Earthbound. Uh, wait, okay. Yeah, oh yeah. You know, you know, you know what Mother 2 is gone. <laughs> okay. If Mother 2 is he not- He knows guys, guys, he knows. He, he knows. knows, don't worry. If I've Earthbound not, is not on this list- I've never I am, played an Earthbound. Sell, sell me on Earthbound. I'm Looks, happy to not it's put Undertale, it on the list. <laughs> but good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just kidding. kidding. Wait, Undertale wait, is very just good. kidding. I can't, I can't believe I'm just it. kidding. <laughs> I love Undertale as well. Okay, hold on. So, well, first of all, uh, we have to come to a consensus here. Is it one title per franchise, or can we put as many of the same franchise? What do you want? Uh, what do you want? Mother one, two, three on there? Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> I only want Mother two on there. Why is Mother two the best out of the three? Well, three never came out of Japan, so most people just haven't played it. Yeah, but I mean, you yeah. could, so. Yeah, I've played Mother 3 and so, it's fantastic. But Mother's I think Mother 2? 2 was like, well, I think Mother 3 has a better story, but Mother 2, I think overall has a better gameplay loop. Oh. Okay. 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 And it inspired Undertale very heavily. Um, I raise you uh, Nintendogs. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking uh, first generation Nintendogs, Wii Sports, right? Yeah. For Wii Sports, I feel like it'd be a disservice to not put Wii Sports. Technically, are you serious? Technically, are you serious? Technic Wii technically. You, come on guys, come on. This We, we, we aren't just playing party games here. It's gone. Look. Te technically, Tetris. Yeah, that's pushing it. That's, that's, that's a Nintendo it game. It is a Nintendo that's game. Is it? Technically. They are the first, well, so. To, is the, it the, the Russians the that Ninten made that? Well, yes. It's a the Russian man. The Nintendo, li <laughs> the Tetris license is weird. I don't yeah. fully understand it, yeah. but yeah, I guess I, I just, I, I'm being pedantic. Yeah. Okay, yeah. question. Are we putting a Zelda game in here? We have to. Yeah, Breath Which of the Wild. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna say link this, to the past, but this. Uh, guys, can we? We can't do this. <laughs> we, we 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 cannot make okay. five. We don't have five. We don't have five. We have. We okay, have okay. Like. okay. Just okay. Just personally speaking. Yeah. What are some of your top contenders? Uh, melee. Um, melee. Yeah. Isn't Smash Bros. Melee. Isn't it, isn't it melee? Yeah, it's melee. Oh, I'm, so, I'm sorry. Melee. Ooh, oh, I'm sorry. Melee. I'm sorry. Why are you saying this shit in cursive? Yeah, you I gave me, bro, like a, 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 a taste <laughs> in my Super mouth. Super Smash Brothers melee. <laughs> melee. A taste in my mouth there. Like. 
Belay. Belay. What is it? French? Okay, okay. Okay. Let's let's let's. Okay. Let's go franchise by franchise. Then. Okay. Because okay, if we we already have five spots. Okay. Yeah. So we have to make an argument for okay. I guess each big franchise. Top Mario game. You said Sunshine. Sunshine. Yeah. Okay. I'm saying Mario 64. What are you saying? Mario Kart. <laughs> Which the, one? The latest one. Eight, eight the latest one? Yeah. The latest Mario Kart is probably one of the best games of oh, all time. It is up there. Fuck. All right, Mario's hard. Let's move on. Okay. Z- Zelda. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Zelda game. Go Zelda. Your, uh, your Breath of the Wild. CDI games. That one is a banger. <laughs> That's a hidden banger. Yeah. What? Which Which Zelda has had the most effect on pop culture? Like, Zelda CDI. Is it? No, it's no, not. Yeah. No. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you said Breath of the Wild. Yeah, I'm yeah. saying Link to the Past. Uh, I I have played both. I would say Link to the Past is probably the go. I can't believe no one put Ocarina okay. of Time. Yeah. Uh, I thought they whine. They whine. Link. Everyone knows Link to the so, Past. Uh, is the best. Like I'll, I'll pick Majora's Mask over Ocarina of Time. I've only okay. played like a little bit of Ocarina, by the way, to preface this. I, I Ocarina is a good game. I just think there are way better Zelda games, especially ones that have aged better. Yeah, Majora's yeah. Mask. I think is uh, way, okay. Way I, I I will allow this because we're gonna be fucking crucified. Wait, wait. I I will allow this because Link to the Past is my second favorite Zelda game. Okay, I... can we all agree we can put Link to the Past in the top five? Sure, yeah, sure, yeah, sure. Yeah, Doesn't have to be number one. Does Zelda? Okay, I'll, somewhere in the top five. Okay, I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Okay, I'll allow it. okay. Allow Link to the Past. It. We okay. got it. Okay, right. okay. That was that was one. Do you want to put Melee? I would, yeah, I would. I, sure. I think it's, in terms sure. of like fucking influence and staying power, sure, you know, there are a few games that have had the staying power that I'll melee, melee has Gone. had. You sure you're not going to put Brawl? Oh, I don't like Brawl. What no. do you mean? You love Brawl. I did love it. I did love Brawl. The, <laughs> story, love Brawl. the story was fucking hype in Brawl. Yeah, one play mode in Brawl was awesome. Yeah. Sub, subspace Emissary? Emissary? Yeah, Subspace Emissary. That, that shit was yeah. awesome. All right, um, all right. We can, we, can we agree to put Melee? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Are, you, right. are you agreeing on it? Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with all Melee. Right, Melee's right. a great game. I'm, I'm just, uh, do you want a suggestion, Joey? Cause I'm making all the suggestions. <sighs> uh, my suggestions all right, are I'll fucking- I'll keep going. Yeah. Pokemon Gold or Silver. Yes, I agree. Yes, How do yes. you fucking forget Pokemon? I, I don't know how you forgot Pokemon, This is an Joey. impossible category. <laughs> okay, definitely second gen, gold or silver, doesn't I think, matter. I think second gen was the best. Yeah, I really like- Third the- gen is very close. I really like black and white too, though, as well. Black and white. Oh, you're one of those Pokemon. Oh, black and white. Black and white's so good. Okay. Oh. To be fair, black and white does have the best story. Yeah, but it's goaded. Also, who the fuck gives a shit about Pokemon? Does any story? does any other Pokemon have it? So you face off the like the final boss is the Red. protagonist of the previous one because that that that's no. what makes it the go for me. That's what makes Pokemon Gold and or Silver. Fire Red, Leaf Green did that. That's yeah. a remake. Yeah, but it was, I would argue, a better remake than the original. Yeah, Fire Red Leaf Green is goaded. Yeah, Fire Red Leaf Green is one of the best remakes. Actually, that's a lie. Soul, Hard Gold Soul Silver is the best remake. <laughs> Which you can also fight Red on Mount Silver. So I okay, would say Gold okay, and Silver. Okay. All right, so okay. Pokemon Gold and Silver, we can agree? Sure. All right, All right. so we got three so far. We got Gen three. 2 Pokemon. We have Link to the Past. We have Melee. All right. Wii Sports. I want to put Wii Sports up. <laughs> why? Best because why? best selling game of all time. Right Do you remember how much we, fun we, we, we um, had at my house? You were like admiring my mom for how goaded she was in Wii Bowling. But really Wii Sports over the entire history of Pokemon games. Yeah. I, I understand yeah. that yes, it's like the <laughs> best selling, but you know, this is this is like, this is, this is a casual game, you know? This is, is it, it? Yeah, but like this that's, that's the game. kind of game that you can play no matter what age range you are mm. in, right? You can play with the entire family. You can play with your grandma and granddad if they're up for it, right? You can links, play with your two-year-old. crossbow training. Yeah. <laughs> links like, crossbow training. Links crossbow <laughs> training, sure. Let's put that if on you want. <laughs> I think I, I'm, I, I want to put Wii, Wii Sports on there. I want to put Wii fuck, Sports on there. Yeah. I want to put Wii Sports I'm, on there. I'm outvoted. Just then. because I think that made a generation of gamers. Yeah. Did it? Yeah. Did, and, did, and old people made them game. Yeah. Dude, before fucking Candy Crush and all the fucking mobile <laughs> games, Wii Sports was there, bro. I have not heard of any gamers who just, what, uh, they're like, Wii Sports? Wii Sports that made is me not a gamer. gamer's game. It's it is not a gamer's game. game. Yeah. It's a, it is a game. It's a gentleman's game. It is. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sophisticated Wii Sports Golf game. is yeah. as intense as the PGA Tour, especially the speed runs. Oh, so, dude. Yeah, I mean, okay. So the final one has to be a Mario game, right? We already have a Mario game. No, we don't. We never agreed on one. Uh, Smash Brothers is 
<laughs> he's, in, he's in that. I uh, look. I like, love there's no the, Kirby. There's no. Uh, what are you the guys punches? aren't gonna fucking agree on a Kirby. Nah, no, yeah, no, no, I just want no. to bait you into. This. I yeah, want yeah. to, but actually, nah. I wouldn't put a Kirby game on a top five. I love top Kirby, five. But. What else? What are the franchises? Uh, uh, Metroid, Metroid, Metroid. Super, Met- Me- Super Metroid, Metroid Prime. I, Metroid Prime. None of us have played. I don't think. I think you're the only one who's played Metroid, right? I played Metroid. What? Yeah, I, have you played Metroid? I, I've played, played uh, Metroid, Metroid, Metroid Prime. Played, no, you haven't. Yeah, I have. No, you haven't. <laughs> I finished Metroid Prime, bro. Dude, yeah. Metroid Prime is a goat again. So you, that's everyone I know has played Met- Metroid Prime. Make sure everybody knows they finished Metroid Prime. <laughs> You're not like that. I've never talked about Metroid Prime. I love Metroid Prime. What the fuck? What Super the Metroid man? though, I think is a better game. Just in general. I think it's I, I think it's I think it's Metroid. one of the best Super Nintendo games. I ever played made. Metroid Prime and the Metroid on the Game Boy Donkey Advance. Kong original. Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong original. Donkey Kong Country? No. Donkey, Kong Con- Donkey Kong Country is goaded actually. Ooh. That is that is Donkey Country is Hold so on, the big debate. Donkey Kong Country or Donkey Kong 64? A country, obviously. It's not even close. I don't know, man. 64 no, is all 64. No, no. 64 is a Joey, Joey, no. Wait. No. 64 Wait. is a bad game. No. Banjo-Kazooie. I was going to say Banjo-Kazooie. Well, technically, Banjo-Kazooie. Technically a rare game, not a Nintendo. Yeah. No, it was on yeah. Nintendo consoles. Uh, yeah, but, yeah, it's, a but it's, 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 it's a different All right, different we're IP. not including rare games then? Yeah, I guess not. And we Ugh. can't include Donkey Kong. Thank God, thank God for that. <laughs> oh, is Donkey Kong? Yeah, Donkey Kong rare. is rare. Oh fuck. Yeah. Well, those games are rare. Okay, okay. Using Nintendo IP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. they don't, yeah, I don't know. Um, shit, what I else guess, is I there? guess that removes like GoldenEye and Perfect Dark and yeah. all that shit. Well, yeah. My favorite Mario game is Galaxy. Galaxy is great. Galaxy's so good. Especially I love Galaxy. Galaxy 2. I've never played Galaxy. Bro. Galaxy, I think the first That's- Galaxy is better than Galaxy 2. I, mean, I think they're both great. Yeah. Just the- Just goaded soundtracks. Fuck, dude. Oh my God, the orchestration, sheesh. All the worlds are so awesome too. Yeah. I don't know. I just think in terms of sheer staying power, I, I think 64 is the best. No, 64 is the worst. What? Yeah. It just, I just, yeah, I don't. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that yeah. game's still yeah. fun. To it's play. a tech demo, Joey. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> it was revolutionary for us time. It's amazing. Yada, yada, yada. Sunshine just gets the vibe, man. That's From a casual like, standpoint, Sunshine is just a way more fun replay experience. Okay. It's really? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I don't know. I have more fun playing 64. <laughs> yeah, I can believe it. I think I've played more. I think I've the played 64 problem- more than. Sunshine. The biggest problem with 64 is having to use the fucking N64 controller. And that just puts any game- Oh, that's just a skill issue. (laughs) That's legitimately a skill issue. What about Mario Party? What about it? (sighs) Mario Party 2, if I had to pick. None of the Mario Parties are like the goats. Two is pretty good. No, two is awful. Two is great. What? Two is the best one. <laughs> no, I hated two. What's your favorite? Eight. Uh, my favorite. Don't say ten. No, it's one of the GameCube ones. The GameCube Four. ones are so good. Four was really good. I had the one with the mic, and I love that. Oh, five. The five was That's so. Five, f- I think. Yeah. The one with the mic was so funny. Five was good. <laughs> the mini games you just scream into it and yeah. blow into it was so funny. <laughs> Oh my god. I totally forgot about that. That one okay. was also fun. So we cannot decide on a Mario game. So Mario Kart 8. I'm doing that meme with the guy who's like, Mario Kart 8, the locks. It's 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 a go-to game. It is a go-to game, to be fair. Would you would you put that over any mainline Mario game? Do you like Mario games? I love Mario games. Uh but I think I've played Mario Kart 8 Deluxe more than any other Mario game. <laughs> I've put so many hours into Mario Kart Deluxe. That's true. I've also put a lot. And I never don't have fun. <sighs> oh, it's so oh, hard. I feel we're oh. missing something really obvious. Yeah, probably. We probably are. I'm just going through like the Smash roster to be like, all right, what franchise have we missed? Luigi's Kid, Mansion. Kid Icarus. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Luigi's Mansion is great. I love Luigi's Mansion, but it's like not Luigi's up. Mansion. You don't like Luigi's Mansion? Really? <laughs> that is I. Really? That is I. I mean, that's a take demo. <laughs> yeah, 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 it is. I mean, I've only seen like, I've only played the first Luigi's Mansion. Um, Cause I think I've played most of like the mainline Nintendo games that came out on GameCube because- All right, I'm was... gonna be that guy. Pikmin 2. Fuck off. <laughs> I, I knew, I, I knew it was gonna be a, I, I was waiting for the moment for you to bring up Pikmin. Pikmin 2. Actually. It's no. goaded. It's so good. I don't Pikmin agree. 2? Are you, are you sure about Pikmin I th- 2? I think, look, Pikmin 4 was a very close contender. Yeah. I still think Pikmin 2 just edges it out. I don't know if no. I liked Pikmin 2. Really? I, I like, I, you know, I, What's I like- your favorite? Uh, one? One probably. Yeah, one's good too. I've never played a Pikmin game. 
You should play it. You'll love it. Yeah, it's like Why? it's like, like it's like Halo Wars, but <laughs> instead of like having like soldiers, you have little oh. fucking ant creatures. I want to kill. You do kill. You do oh, kill. Okay. You do kill. Yeah. You you Other you kill players. by Other you play it. No. <laughs> It's not that kind of game. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's 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 leave the last one blank for now. Okay. I'm assuming it's going to be a Mario game. Shh, I maybe. assume. I Mario assume. Mario it. Mario it. All right. So we have Wii Pokemon, we have Zelda, yeah. Wii Sports, and <laughs> Smash Bros. Melee. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Which one goes? Which one of that goes up on top? Gold. Wii Sports. No, Gold Sword. Wii Sports. <laughs> no, we can't put Wii Sports. Why do you want to put Wii Sports at number one? Make make your make your case, Connor. Make your case. Um, you know, if the other ones were as good as Wii Sports, they would have sold as much. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker, this motherfucker. That's such a shit argument. Yeah. Uh, you know, not no other game made your grandma go, I want to play. <laughs> So Candy Crush is just like nah, my grandma, up there. Too complicated. Too complicated too <laughs> Candy complicated. Crush just crushes all the competition because it can make your fucking grandma play. Farmville, yeah, like- I mean- <laughs> To be fair, they are both very lucrative games. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I just think that Wii Sports is a great time. Wii Sports is at the bottom. That's okay. the, no, no, Wii Sports for me is like number three. <laughs> what? What? I think it, it. I think it strikes the perfect balance of just like genuinely fun replayability, yeah, and great. also the fact that you, it doesn't matter how old you are, where you are, who you're with, you can play that with anyone, and it'd be fun as fuck. Yeah, it's a fun game. Now nah, I can play melee with my fucking grandma. No, you can't. Just watch. No, you can't. No, you can't. Yeah. <laughs> No, your you grandma can't. won't even be able to pronounce the be word melee. Beating the shit out of your grandma and we boxing is a joy we all oh get to God. share. Oh my God. Your grandma, dude, you show the roster of melee to your grandma. You, she's going to be like, what am I looking at? You show your grandma, you can play golf in this game. She'd be like, instant understand. Yep, Just I know exactly how to play this game. Just wag the thing. One around. button, swing, easy. All right, you I think will, your grandma's gonna be able to I fucking will, tech? I will allow, yeah. <laughs> Yo, my grandma's fucking goaded, man. Damn. She's a real game. <laughs> Yo, my grandma edge guards, yeah. bro. <laughs> okay, I'll allow that if Zelda's number one. It's, it's, oh. gotta, be, it's gotta be Zelda. For it's, me, it's number one is Zelda. either Link to the Past or Gold and Silver. It's a tie, it's, that is a one, two for me. Or which one? I just feel like I, Pokemon I, I, games I, have fallen I off so much that- I don't think I want to replay the original Gold and Silver, but I think I could replay Link to the Past. Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I I actually agree with that. Mm. Uh, to me, I, I, maybe it's just I mean, modern po either way. Maybe it's just the Pokemon franchise just kind of falling off that recently off that I just, I, I, I don't even, I would put Gold and Silver like fourth. I think. No. Fourth. fourth. I'm okay with that. No, yeah, yeah, that yeah. To my boy. Yeah, yeah, fourth. Fourth. Okay. All right, what's, okay. wait, what's number two then? Melee. Yeah, I'm happy with melee. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay all right. Look, as, long as, as long as Link gets the W, that's all I care Link to the about. pass, melee, Wii Sports. Gold and silver. Gold and silver. And then. And then I guess. I guess Mario Mario, uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. <laughs> Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Wait, hold on. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe or Double Dash? Deluxe. Deluxe? Yeah, I think it's still a better game. Double Dash is cool and I wish they remade it. Yeah. yeah. Cause it'd be hype as fuck with all like the new mechanics and stuff. But it also goes kind of ass when you just, the guy on the back. <laughs> it is slippery as shit as well, that game. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I, that, 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 that is such a fucking skewed top five all right, Nintendo so games of all time. Trash Taste's top five Nintendo games are in order. <laughs> <laughs> Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. Nice. Super Smash Brothers Melee. Wii Sports. Pokemon Gold and Silver and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. This is like dun, 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 dun. Nintendo fans are molding. This is moment. like this is like a this is such a hard thing to do because you can't just name what you like. You have to name something that you think hey, the other I, boys I, will I, agree on. I as need well. to copy your homework. Don't, yeah, just change it up a yeah. little bit. <laughs> yeah. All right, we'll start. All, All right. right, number two. Here we go. Oh, shit, the top five YouTubers. Uh, okay. Okay. I would like to start off one that I think we can all agree on. Yeah. Just say Mr. Beast, Joey. No. What? Bill Wirtz. Uh, <laughs> he doesn't really up yeah, he do doesn't any love videos. I think- I Yeah, think, but when he does, it's an event. I think Bill Wirtz has the legacy of the best singular YouTube video on the platform. Yeah, I agree. I, I, the entire history of the world. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think entire history of the world is like the Citizen Kane for like, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like every YouTuber I know, they're like, yeah, that that was that was yeah. what inspired me. That was yeah. that was that was the. But goat. I don't think he's like the goat of YouTube. You don't think he's consistent enough <laughs> no. to be top five? No. Okay, uh, I th I think we should narrow it down with YouTubers that have had an impact on the platform in some way, shape or form. Well, if we're going off pure impact, you'd have to put Mr. Beast there. I do think Mr. Beast should be on there. All right. Okay, yeah, fine. yeah, I, do, I, I think. Would you be inclined to put Felix on there? Uh, Probably. I think it'd be a disservice not yeah. to. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. If we're going on in terms of impact, yeah. then yeah, yeah. Totally. I think so. Um, All right, so we got Felix and Jimmy. Yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> it's just, do I agree with the impact? <laughs> it's <laughs> different. <laughs> Well, uh, I, I, okay, so I, th I think there's like impact in two ways. There's like pure subscriber numbers and how have you changed? How have you like, you know, like other filmmakers, how have you impacted, how have you impacted fellow, uh, fellow YouTubers and fellow people that have mm. uh, been on the platform? I think Casey Neistat should be on there. Like, you know what? I don't think I've ever watched a single Casey Neistat. Are you before. serious? Yeah. It did kind of change how vlogging was he, done. He, ch he changed- I, I, re I recognize the impact he had on mm -hmm. like vlogging and just like YouTube content creation, yeah. but I don't think I've ever sat down and watched a Casey Neistat video. Okay. I mean, I think they've aged wonderfully just because yeah. he turned vlogging into this, hey, you know, handheld camera mm -hmm. into just like a form of filmmaking and yeah. storytelling. And you can you can see, you know, same with, similar with Mr. Beast, you can see a jump in quality like of in, oh, in in like the whole platform of YouTube mm. where by just him making content and being there. Mm. What about someone like uh, Mark Rober or like Tom Scott? Yeah. Someone like that. It's yeah, I do like both of them, but. Have they changed? Have they impacted the platform that, enough to be in the I'm top thinking. five? Yeah. yeah. Smosh, OG Smosh. I mean, if we're going back to like, the ones who built the platform, then mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. like, but if that's Ray the William, one, but, Ray William yeah, Johnson. But if that's the case, yeah, we have to go to like- Ray William Johnson. We have to go to like equals three and like Fred. Yeah. Fred, yeah. That my goat. I would like to say Filthy Frank. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my Lord. Uh, I mean, he created I, an impact. I think I actually agree with yeah. you. Yeah. Like if it might not have been the most positive impact. I actually, like, but you, you talk about there was no one else like him, and there still never will be. Well, there never like will. There never will be because Filthy Frank uh, is just he is a time capsule. Yeah, you know he yeah. is a signifier of what content was like during that time, and for and the con everyone was watching. Him. Yeah, and I agree. I, th I think I think we need to put. I, 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 I think I think Frank deserves to be yeah. on there. I think. You know, it might not be the same positive influence as, <laughs> that some of these other YouTubers have had. Um, okay, but so so far we got Mr. Beast, PewDiePie, Casey Neistat, Filthy Frank. Who else? Leafy. <laughs> Keemstar. Keemstar. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, he did start drama YouTube, did he? <laughs> yeah. He did. Yeah. Uh, oh, I don't, don't want to give him any credit for anything, so. Yeah. Uh -huh. Um. What, who else has like a real- Marcus Brownlee could I was, be- I was thinking Marcus Brownlee. Marcus Brownlee, yeah. Ninja. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's more streaming. Yeah, it's more streaming. Yeah. yeah. Um, fuck. Uh, who's like the goat? Who's a goat YouTuber? I, I feel like we need to go, I feel like Smosh. Smosh could probably be, yeah, yeah. I think so. I feel like it'd be- yeah. OG Smosh and OG how Smosh. impactful it was on YouTube yeah. in general. It did change a lot. I mean, they basically built what a YouTuber is. Yeah. yeah. Comedy Central. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not Comedy Central, like, is it? College Humor. College Humor. College Comedy humor. Central. That's, um, um, Can we agree on those five then? Unless we're missing someone? Sure. How did Mosh influence the landscape? I, I Mosh? Mosh. <laughs> Mosh is so smosh. Mosh? <laughs> That's what you get. Okay, 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 okay. I, I, I'll. I'll I'll agree to that yeah. because it's it's hard because there's so many influential YouTubers. I mean, there were so many OGs back in the day, but I think, yeah. you know, the fact that Mosh. Anthony Mosh. is still quite relevant even to this day yeah. says a lot, Yeah, you know? In too. Yeah. And the fact that like, you know, when Smosh like came back, mm -hmm. it was such a massive impact on like the YouTube landscape, even though oh. it's like generations old now. I, th I think the impact in uh, later years has been 
not not as much as the oh, early of course, years, but, but you know, I think they built a landmark for, or, or they built, I guess, the uh, the standard. Uh, yeah, I mean, they could show yeah. they showed it could be done. Yeah, yeah. Okay, um, so now we got to list them out: Mr. Beast, PewDiePie, Fieldy Frank, Casey Neistat, and Smosh. Who is number one? I don't know, isn't it? It's hard, isn't it? <laughs> I don't think anyone's had, had as much of an effect on YouTube as Mr. Beast. Yeah, mm -hmm. I hate to say that because yeah. I, I don't think it's like, I didn't think all the effects are positive, but I think you can't argue that he's probably single-handedly changed his platform the most. I think yeah, so. I, I think so. I, I, I think it'd be hard to argue that it's anyone but Mr. Beast. I also think that like no one else has made more people want to be YouTubers than him. Yeah. yeah. I think uh, he's, he's made, essentially like inspired the next generation of YouTubers entirely. Mm. Yeah. Totally. Um, I, totally I think he's also that. like legitimized YouTube as well as like 100%. actual- yeah. yeah, I think he, uh, you, know. you know, when you're that big, I think there's good and bad effects of being so influential mm. from just being yourself. Mm. I think that we have this style of YouTube now that has been pushed, uh, that is kind of, for a lot of people, I think it, why it works for Jimmy is people don't realize why it works for Jimmy. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people just comes off as brain dead. Mm. Yeah. You're like, what am I watching? But it has like, it does so well. Yeah. So I think there's impacts like that, but there's also impacts like, hey, yeah, like you said, he's a legitimate YouTube. Yeah. He's shown the power of YouTube and kind of made mainstream media kind of start to take notice a little mm -hmm. bit more. Yeah. So I think it's hard to not argue that he's uh, number one. Mm. Yeah, I would definitely agree with that. Uh, All right. Which makes number two hard. Um, Probably Felix. For me, it's, yeah, I'd say it's Felix. He'd hate, he'd, hate, he'd hate for us to say that. It's <laughs> like, why am I not number one? <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, just the king of Let's Plays for how long? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Long I mean, he was the face of YouTube for so long. Well, yeah. he was the face and like Mr. Beast, he's kind of defied, defined the trend of Let's Plays, mm. uh, which was a huge part of you know the explosion of video games on YouTube, yeah, and that was an entire era of YouTube that he was just the king of for mm -hmm. so fucking long. Um, All right, so Felix number two, number two, is where it gets hard. Um, um, I'd probably say nice at number three, just because of the changing the entire vlog scene. Yeah, basically changing how videos were made. Yeah, in, the, in the same level that kind of like Mr. Beast did. Mm. I, feel, I feel like nice that nice that was one of the core contributors to seeing that huge quality jump oh, on yeah. YouTube. Mm. It's a huge quality jump you after know, yeah. after his videos. Yeah, exactly. I, I feel like he had such an influence. Like it was might, like magic when he when he was doing it. Oh, exactly. People, people I, couldn't believe it. Mm. Yeah, I, I think, you know, he might have not have had as much of a subscriber count as the big YouTubers now, but his impact on the time uh, before YouTube. I mean, his I, daily I, vlog series was probably one of the most yeah. watched things ever. I, I feel like happened. I feel like he takes a lot of credit for YouTube as a platform being respected as not just funny haha -ha internet videos, mm. but mm. actual short films and mm. uh, with yeah. core production values. So I think he deserves to go number three. Okay. Oh fuck, also let me know. Let me know could be up there for Let like me know kind of making as well. these, for kind of popularizing. Yeah. I feel like he kind of popularized the long form explain kind of yeah like uh, like the style of videos that he does yeah. I, I don't know how to explain what it is the <clears throat> long form because people did long videos before but mm. the style that he makes videos has been i don't know if he's even the first to make it but no 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 definitely it's, the most popular it's, it's not let me know it's got to be um every frame a second oh he like he he's he was he's he huge. is quit now but he was he started the video essays. Yeah. He started YouTube video essays. I think that that seen, was him. I think I've seen every video of his maybe like ten times. Over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never seen this guy's channel. Every frame of painting. I don't think I've ever seen this one. He's like a prof he was a prof or he is a professional movie editor. Yeah. Um, and he did these like ten to fifteen minute short uh video essays about like certain techniques and films, but they oh. were so well made that you don't even have to care about film. Yeah. To, like, cool. No, you watch. should watch them. They're really yeah. good. I mean, really that really he good. was like the progenitor of film essays and just video progenitor, essays. Progenitor, what a great word. Yeah. yeah. What a fucking fantastic use of that word. <laughs> progenitor. Yeah, so if, if we're talking about, you know, people who have had a huge effect on the platform, I think mm. he's quit now. Uh, he only made like a few videos and then stopped, but he kind of he kind of he's changed the entire on, game. Honorable mentions. Yeah, honorable sure. mentions, right. I think. Um, uh, fourth and fifth, who do we have left? Smosh and Filthy Frank. 
I wanted to put Frank in for I want to put Frank in Yeah, Frank in yeah, 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 yeah. I agree. Frank and Froth. We all, all agree right. on those. That's good. Okay. All right. So top five YouTubers according to Trash Taste. Mr. Beast. Not not our favorite five, but yeah, yeah. five influential. Mr. Beast, PewDiePie, Casey Neistat, Filthy Frank, Smosh. Yeah. There you go. All right. This episode is sponsored by Vessies. Boys, if you've watched enough Trash Taste, you will know that we are absolutely in love with our Vessies. How many times do we have to tell you, old man? Do you still go outside and get wet socks? Well, sounds like a skill issue because you don't have Vessies. <gasps> Rain, sleet, snow, or shine, Vessie is there to help you in any weather and any condition. Mm -hmm. And they've got some brand new shoes right here. These gone are the Stormburst, <gasps> and they have amazing performance in the unpredictable I spring can see that. weather. And not only that, they are super comfortable and stretch. As you can see, look at that oh. high top. Ooh, ooh. I think That's it's been right. a year since I've worn anything but Vessies. Yeah, uh, I, I, I only wear that. I literally I've only, only have Vessie wear. shoes. Right <laughs> yeah. But boys, did you also know that Vessie doesn't just make shoes? I mean, no. look at those things that Connor is wearing right now. Things. <laughs> look at these things. Look at what these are, things. What are those things, look at Connor? Sleek, are those sexy gloves. The Vessie waterproof gloves, Connor, that you wear? And I was you hoping up. somebody would ask. <sighs> yes, Gaunt, these are. And every time I've been cycling lately, you know, even if it's uh, it's not too cold, mm. the wind is, is unbearable. And these mm. have been perfect and waterproof as well. So elevate your spring wardrobe today with Vessi Stormburst mm -hmm. shoes, guys. Discover more at Vessi.com slash trash taste to get 15% off your first purchase, Damn. guys. That's Vessi.com slash trash taste. Links in the description. Back to the episode. Wow, that was easier than the gaming one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Nintendo have a lot of bangers. Yeah, you know they have I mean? a lot of bangers. All right, let's have a look. God. What? Top five hentai categories. <laughs> Already? <laughs> Already, baby. <laughs> Damn. We're delivering the sauce this early yeah. in the episode. Yeah. Okay. Oh shit. How do you um, where do you begin? Don't um, say vanilla. I'm not I'm not saying vanilla. You know what I want there. Yeah, I don't agree with it though. Um well, you know, because actually when I went to the uh hentai website, there wasn't they don't actually just have MELF. They don't have that. Really? That's I mean, a, a lot lie. of them don't have MELF categories. That's a lie. They, yeah. The tags are different. They're like uh like housewife or incest <laughs> is what it or um <laughs> It's like it's like they don't have metal music, but they have every subcategory. Yeah, it's weird because yeah. I think I think hentai is too too specific. Yeah. Where like actually I'm when I'm trying to look for what I what I want, it's like a little bit of like three different subcategories. Yeah, yeah. MILF is too broad. Yeah, the, MILF is of way a, too of broad. A fetish. So shall we make a gentleman's agreement to not put vanilla on there? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm okay with that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. I just think then, I, I, don't, I don't know if it's MILF or what, but I'll go with housewife. Housewife. Housewife? Housewife. Uh, I'll, I'll agree with you. I mean, I, I like MILFs in general. Um, I don't know. You don't, you don't know? It's a bit mid. Well, listen, I, it's there's the only, some it's, good ones I've it's read. It's the but... only one I care about. And if Masterpiece doesn't earn its spot on this list, I am <laughs> not continuing a part of the show. Uh, okay, we'll, fuck, we'll, I don't we'll know. put it on the short list. I mean, I don't, okay. I don't, I'm not going to complain okay. with having MILF okay. up there. Okay, what are you guys saying then? What do you feel I need, about? I need like a list of like- What do you category? mean? You don't know? I, you don't, you're Joey, you're Joey. I don't know. Would uh, you consider- Would you put incest up there? No. All right, all right. Uh, <laughs> wait, 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 hang on. I'm thinking about it. Uh, Netorare. No. Uh, mind break. Nah, I don't fucking mind break. Mind break. No, mind no. break? Okay, you're gonna have, this is the problem with this category is you're gonna have a hard time convincing me that any of these categories are even remotely good. <sighs> I prefer domination loss over mind break. What? What, <laughs> what domination. is domination? What is that? Domination loss. What the fuck is that? It's when the girl is like playing as the dom, yeah. like early on, yeah. and then the tides get reversed, and then the guy becomes the dom. Uh, I did not know that was a thing. Yeah, domination. Loss. I actually hate that. I didn't know I hated really? that. Really? Because I'm like, dude, this is. That. I'm like, this is so hot. She's like, she's doming the fuck out of him. Right. And then, and then he's like, ah, but she, I put my pee pee in you, and now you can't control yourself. And I'm like, what the. Fuck? I don't know, I like that. I'm like, it's the opposite for me normally. I put it in that and I'm like, I lose all kind of respect. So so what you like is the process of being like, I'm a I'm a dummy mummy. But then they, she just didn't get the right D and then the right D yeah. convinces her. And then that's usually paired with mind break. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, so it's yeah. like the girl, the girl is the dom <laughs> and then the mind break happens and then she loses I, the domination. I hate mind break. 
Why do you hate mind break? Because <laughs> you didn't earn it. You cheat it. You know what I mean? You didn't. They're not into you. You forced right. them. You know what I mean? Like, I'd, like that's not attractive to me. How, what do you mean you force them? You, what do you mean you force them? Like you mind break them into like being no wait. So I'm thinking mind control. Yeah, yeah. you think of mind control. Mind control. That's very different. Yeah. Mind my, break. Mind break. I also don't fuck with mind break because mind break is boring. They just become like what? a husk. That is like, yeah, okay, I guess all I want is cock. Okay. No, mind break is when they just get like, well, I mean, there's that as there's, well, there's, but then there's, there's also sometimes where they break. just like lose control and they just become like a horny mess. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's I, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's great. That's, that's awesome. Okay, but do we, we don't like mind control, right? Are we? No, mind no, control. Mind that's like okay, hypnosis, okay, which is like hypnosis, the cringe, cringe. which is like the cheapest fucking- Yeah, that's what I meant. Like it's cheap. Yeah. It doesn't feel earned. Like yeah, I feel yeah, yeah, like yeah. the reason why even I can understand it's like with the Dom, it's like, okay, yeah. it feels like there's some kind of romance here. Yeah. There's some yeah. kind of connection. When yeah. it's mind mind control, you're like- No. Nah. You're like, okay. Putting hypnosis yeah. in hentai is like, is is the cheapest thing you can do to any kind of And it also feels like giga incel like, cause it's like, you can't even get off to stop being just attractive. A lot of this is probably incel. 100%. I mean, my mind mind, mind break is- That's why I'm here to turn up and be like, you guys are fucking incels, here are your good categories. Mind break is definitely incel. The idea that she's like, oh, my dick, my dick is so good that she, it breaks her fucking mind. Yeah, that's okay. Well, go on, speak for yourself. Yeah, speak for yourself. Okay, all right. All right, right, Connor, all right. I mean, what what you could call mind break, I call Tuesday, (laughs) Con. <laughs> I break my own. Like, every time I off. like what? Come on, you're breaking my fucking mind right now. <laughs> every time I see my own cock, like, my my mind just breaks. Like yeah. what? what? <laughs> Ain't no way. <laughs> Uh, How do you, okay, not NTR, but- Fuck no, fuck no, 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 Yes. Just, uh, just, yeah. <laughs> just yes. more yes. vanilla yes. NTR, yes, yes. I yes. like cheating in this. No, yes. I'm not into yes. it. Yes, no, yes, yes. It's forbidden. It's forbidden. All right, it's forbidden. It's forbidden. I, I, I just love the forbidden, the forbidden things. Because it, sometimes incest is a little, because you know, incest when it's like, oh, you stepmom, whatever. Um, yeah, yeah, You're yeah like, fuck that shit. It's like, it's like I, sometimes I get, I'm okay with it. It really depends how involved the mom is prior, where I'm like, oh, like the brother, you're like, oh. But then cheating, it's like normally you don't see, yeah. which is why I don't like Netarari, because a lot of the time, like, look at you, look how pathetic you are. You're being cocked. You're so disgusted. And that's where I'm like, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> what? I didn't need to see the other side. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, yo, chill, okay. Yeah. Cheating, cause in the, in, especially cheating. in hentai, when there's yeah. like, when you don't see the victim, I'm like, yeah. oh, it's just hot. Yeah. Okay. Like, no, nobody. I, I don't no, want to see that. I do not want to see consequences. Nobody yeah. gets hurt during cheating. Dude, I right, had the, right? I had the s- <laughs> saddest wank of all time. Oh yeah. Day. I watched this. Uh, there was this one hentai, and it has like six episodes, and every single one is like a different one shot. And uh, the, there was like number five. Loved it. It mm. was amazing. It was like a. a, a <laughs> it was a guy who had a girlfriend. And the mom was like, hey. So she's trying to study. So can you stop fucking her and stop fucking me? <laughs> and I was like, yes, 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 Jojo. And they released another episode. And it was kind of like, it was kind of weirder vibes. It was like the kid, her, so it's a kid and you see the kid and his mom and the kid's like, oh, I'm a little, oh, I'm a little baby. I'm gonna go to school. And then his like bully at school goes home and fucks his mom. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I'm like, and I'm, I'm like, all right, yeah, I'm jacking it to it. And then, <laughs> right as I'm about to not, there's a scene where he comes home to see his mom being railed by his school bully, and it's the saddest thing ever because she's trying to be like, no, 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 it's not what you think, and he's like, it's what you think, it's what you think. It's so bad, it's so bad, and I felt so guilty. I was like, oh god. Oh God, this is horrible. This is so, I wanted a MILF hentai, not like this. This is like the monkey's paw. Yeah, I want yeah. a new MILF hentai. You get what you ask for, <laughs> but at what cost? It was so, it was so fucked up, dude. Oh God. All right, so we Point have- Point being, can't put that in. Yeah, can't put that in. We have cheating. I mean, one of my favorite hentais is like, it's, it's like, I, th- I think like cheating adjacent yeah. okay. because- <laughs> What the fuck is cheating <laughs> adjacent? I'm just, I'm just making up fucking tags right now, but it's like this, there's like, there's two- I'm not into cheating, I'm into cheating adjacent. There's like two characters yeah. who have both been cheated on by their partners. So they decide to get back at their partners. What the hell? I've never even seen one like this. They, they decide to get back at their partners by 
cheating with each other. Mm. So I'm like, ah, nobody gets hurt because everyone's a fucking asshole. Now that's like- Is that not just wait, a wife swap? Wait, I no. realized I'm a hypocrite because I said I, I don't like it when I see them get cheated on, but then there was one that I really liked where they were doing it like in front of them. And I was like, ah. Bro, that's NTR. That's not even cheating. But no, they didn't know though. They didn't know. <laughs> what you it's mean? still NTR. <laughs> no. Bro. no, it's not NTR. Yes, it is. That's no, NTR, if bro. they don't know. What no, do you mean they don't know? The moment they find out, it's NTR. They don't find out. What do you mean? They just said you find out. No, 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 no. They don't find out. It was right in front of them though. <laughs> How are they? Okay, okay. What? Are they there invisible? Was this, like there was this one. It was like a, it was like a housewife one, and it was like the girl got pregnant, and so she was like, I can't have sex anymore. And the mom was like, Wow. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> and so they do it like in front of her while she's she's like sleeping, and the guy yeah. like sneaks in, and I guess the mom is sleeping next to the daughter, and they're okay. doing it, and I'm like, That's actually fucking hot. <laughs> but then I realized I'm 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 full of shit because I'm like I don't want to see them get hurt. Which I still don't, because right, right. they technically didn't reveal it. So I don't want that. Why? Why do I want to see the reveal? Uh, all right. So all right, hear me out. Yaru. No. Oh my god, I was gonna say Yaru. Yes, I thought I, I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking. We have to put Yaru. Yaru is yes. That is okay. High we can put it on, on the there. short list. I, I don't. Tan that, that is that is not a short list. I tan lines. Tan lines. Tan lines. I like. I agree. I, I like tan girls. Yes, dark skin. But if they have like a tan line, I'm like, holy fucking shit. If if you pair that with Yaru, bro. <laughs> yeah, Sheesh. that is it. We have reached Nirvana ah. right now. <laughs> Insta right. nun. You don't care about designs at all. Oh. Designs. I mean, it, it is like designs, right? <laughs> Just want them to look mature. <laughs> okay, hear me out. Teacher. Yeah, I teach you I'm a good one. I'm a big I would teacher. prefer that over housewife. Uh, I prefer housewife, but I'll allow teacher. Okay, teacher? Yeah, yeah the yeah. one with teacher is that sometimes you're like, yeah, you probably shouldn't be fucking your students. Yeah. But that's what I like about it. <laughs> <laughs> that was such a genuine, actually, I like, I like yeah. that. <laughs> that's exactly why I like teacher. Yeah. No, because like, it, you know- The forbidden relationship, It's, it's right? the taboo, yeah. you know? No, I, I agree, it, taboo's important, but yeah. like, like, uh, it's a, it's, uh, sometimes, the, sometimes taboos can be a little much. Uh, I don't think teacher is going that far. Wait, wait, no, no, that's, no, that's not one of them, but I, yeah. I'd say like- I mean, there's a lot of taboos. Teacher, yes. teacher is like in the realm of like, this is why I would teach you for me, it's a, it's a, it's a coin toss. Cause- yeah, yeah, teacher can go very south. Teacher can be really <laughs> fucking vile and gross. What do you mean? Like super young. Uh, yeah. And I'm yeah, like, no, kind of but then, but then, but then yeah. so can MILF. Yeah, you, MILF can yeah. too. Yeah, that's, that's true. We, we, we'll, we'll avoid anything true. that is- a Anything complete... remotely lolly, I'm like, I'm out, I'm yeah, out. That yeah. is Which is unfortunate me. because there's so many MILF and Nissan <laughs> hentai that I'm just like, why? <laughs> Why? This is like the fucking greatest design I've oh, seen like in my life. Like a, with like a Shota? Yeah, and it's like yeah. a little Shota boy. And I'm like, yeah, the, Dude, the, Shota, the Shota thing, I've never understood. Who does that appeal to? Uh, to women. Shota's for women? Yeah, yeah, totally. Why? In the same way that Lolly is for dudes. Uh, well, I don't get that, so. Right, but it's, the, it's literally the female equivalent. Just chicks are into that. I don't get it, but you know, whatever. <laughs> Can we Google this? What? I mean, yeah, because like, who else? Who's the, the demographic otherwise? I don't know. I, mean, I always wanted to do that. I always it's, wanted it's that. It's for chicks. There was that one. I remember there was that one with like. Why do you was... think? Why do you think so many Shota ones yeah. are like? It's always like an older woman or like yeah. a, the, yeah. it's from the woman's perspective. Yeah, it does suck. It does feel like if I get the older woman ones, it's it's the monkey's paw. There's yeah, always yeah. some yeah. caveat yeah. that makes yeah. me not like it's, it. It's it's rare that you get a milf one and it's not. Like a dis <laughs> disgrace with something else. Yeah, because I like, like, yeah, I I love like Onesans. Mm. That's, oh hell yeah, Onesans is just like Amen. yes, all Amen. right, <laughs> Amen. But this they are been, also is... the most susceptible to falling into the show. This would have been yeah, way easier if it was top five worst hentai categories. Actually, uh, yeah, that would have been easy. We could do that. Let's let's let's, well, go, let's, make the first. let's do it's best. Let's do best, and then let's do worst. What do we have so far on our short list? Cheating, cheating, Yaru, Yaru, tan, tan lines, people. tan lines, house, teacher, house, te teacher, uh, final uh, teacher, teacher. Mind break? No, no. All right, I like all right, all right. I like I like reverse dom. Reverse we'll dom, just like reverse. Yeah, like dom with, without the like the girl is the dom. Yeah, I like that one. That's just dom. Is it okay? Is it, what, is, it, is, it, is it dom if it's a dude? No. Why is it not dumb if it's a dude? <laughs> because you are being dominated. But why? Right. What, what if well, you're dominating on them? Which perspective? Yeah, you're like, I mean, yeah, you could dominate them. Is that not dumb too? I don't. So female dom. 
because it often feels like it's r- rarely ever that. It's yeah. it's most often I, the I other agree. way around. I agree with you. That, which is really boring. That's 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 in my top five as well. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm down with that. I, I right. don't know what the category, I think the category is normally like, in the, but like- The e- category is reverse R words. Yeah, which is like, I don't yeah. feel like that's the vibe that yeah, I'm going yeah, for. Yeah, 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 Very yeah. different nuance. Not yeah. going for that. Yeah, I'm going for a different one where I'm like that, but without the R part. Yeah, <laughs> and, yeah. I, and I like it a lot. <laughs> reverse consent. <laughs> yeah, reverse consent. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, I'm like, I'm like doing my thing. The and she's, dude has yeah. agreed to it. Kind of like the vibe of like those dudes when they're playing card and she's like, let's have sex. And you're yeah. like, wait, after the game. Yes. <laughs> like that kind of vibe. You know what I mean? Okay. All right. Yeah, we, we can do that then. Yeah. yeah. All right. So we so gutter that's, that's- cheating. <laughs> uh, teacher, tan lines, reverse Such consensual. A, okay, reverse right. consensual would be number one for me. Nah, Gyaru would be number one. No, bro. I think- I, I think Gyaru one. Ooh, this is hard. I think teacher would be number one. I could one. put teacher number okay, one. Okay, let's let's say- let's Tasteful let's, teacher. Okay, let's say you have these tags, right? Mm. And you're like, w- every one of these tags has some cursed title in it. Right? Sure. But I feel like teacher has the highest percentage to have something that has a character design I like and a plot line that I'm fucking into yeah, as well. Yeah, but Teacher also has the highest percentage of having something that completely shatters everything. I just think every single category in Masterpiece is the best category. All right, well, The whole <laughs> show, the whole show. You have a very skewed opinion over here. Masterpiece I. Masterpiece I. It's it's I, it's I. <laughs> what do you like? It's More like Masterpiece. <laughs> 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 Masterpiece is like the designs are there, but I just like I like a little bit more of a, like a plot you line. You want more depression. You want to be like miserable. I want to be invested. You want in the someone plot to like line, you know. It's you want just someone like, to like take a shit Gyar- on the Not enough Gyaros in because like there's 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 too many plot lines where the plot is oh I moved into an old girl's apartment and then we started fucking <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and why so what God that's what I want. <laughs> And I'm like, let's let's add let's add a little bit of spice to that. Come on, just, just yeah. some something happening. Some something something happening more than that. Um, I'm fine with putting teacher at number one. If all we right, need to. okay, let's do okay. it. Okay, teacher let's number one. Teacher number one. All right, I will not accept Garu being below three. Oh my lord! I'll put Garu at two. Uh, Garu bro, at this two. is like the this is like the Vienna Accord, bro. What are we yeah. trying to do here? Do you have a Garu teacher? Shit, which one, Garu or Tanline? We only kind of. I would say Garu two, Tanline three. I find it insane how how in a niche we've gotten with yeah. this kind of stuff. I think you have to. Yeah. Do you have to? I guess yeah. so. I don't, yeah. so. How else are you supposed to describe it? Uh, I, I like so. ones with girls. No, no, I'm just, it's impressive that we have that as a category. Oh yeah, yeah we are fucking yeah. generous. Yeah. We've, uh, yeah, if we had this much with uh, <laughs> with everyday life stuff, we'd I be- I think yeah. you guys know more hentai tags than you do music genres. I would uh, put, yeah, yeah, I, so, yeah. I would put Yaru at second yeah, and sure, I'll, I'll, Dom, I'll, Dom at third. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Dom yeah. at third, I'm, I'm, I can agree with that. Yeah. yeah. And then what else do we have left? Uh, uh, tan lines. Oh, cheating and tan lines. Cheating. I'm willing to compensate cheating. Cheating well. where I don't find out is fourth. <laughs> cheating where they don't find out is fourth. <laughs> NTR without I the- don't want NTR. I do, I do not. I don't know it's how- It's cheating with an asterisk. Yeah. That's that's what surprises me is how many people love seeing somebody's life get crushed and then they jack off to it. Yeah. I just don't understand. Oh, people love watching other people's misery, bro. Why? That's just human it's like, nature, I guess it's like it? I guess that's like why we like X Factor. Yeah. Yeah. I, it's Yago yeah, that cheating for. Tan lines five. five. All right. Well, All right. that's our what a top list. Five best hentai categories: teacher, teacher Gadu, Dom, cheating, Awful. tan lines. So this does sound like a plot. <laughs> this could easily let be us a know plot. Someone make a so yeah. someone make a hentai. Let us know. In, let us know in the comments if there is a if there is a work out there that has all five of those. Yeah. This video is sponsored by BetterHelp. What is the first thing that you do if you have an extra hour in a day? Like go for a run, take a nap, read a book, or show up for a friend. A lot of us spend our lives wishing we had more time. The question is, time for what? If time was unlimited, how would you use it? The best way to squeeze that special thing into your schedule to know what's important to you and make it a priority. Therapy can help you find what matters to you, so you. You can do more of what you love. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. I think a lot of guys, they struggle to find someone to talk about maybe their 
doubts, their feelings and all things. And I discovered BetterHelp at a time when, you know, it was early on in YouTube, uh, wasn't making as much money and it's, it was expensive and hard and daunting to find a real life therapist. And BetterHelp was that first step that really helped me feel more comfortable. And I'm very thankful that they had a platform that was affordable for me at the time. And it really helped me share a lot of things I was going through at the time. So learn to make time for what makes you happy with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash trash to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash trash. Back to the episode. Let's hope we don't cut back to something about us farting or shitting. <laughs> right. All right, let's get another one. Wait, there's not many. Wait, there's only like a few left in here. Yeah, we, we can make more. Oh, okay. Yeah. Top five Tokyo tourist destinations. Uh, Tokyo. Tokyo or Japan? So spe- no, just Tokyo. Just Tokyo. Okay. I think what we should do first mm-hmm. is say five overrated ones and then say our five recommended. A uh, five overrated Tokyo Five overrated Tokyo tourist destinations okay, where everyone goes to. Shinjuku. Uh, just like, what do you mean? Like the general just Shinjuku? General what do you mean? You have to nah, go there. Shinjuku in general. What, you have to change that. It's overrated, Shibuya Crossing. Yeah, Shibuya Crossing is so <laughs> overrated. Yeah. Oh, we're getting that specific? Yeah, I thought well, we were talking, yeah, yeah. talking about like city. No, 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 no. De- like Tokyo, like tourist destinations. Things that you do oh, in Tokyo. Yeah. I was like, yeah. the entire place of Shinjuku? <laughs> <laughs> what are you, Sukuno or something? You're gonna wipe it out? Like, what are you? <laughs> Shibuya. 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 Shinjuku, like what is, Shinjuku what is, Shinjuku Station. What is something- when, <laughs> No, you that's have- That's not a tourist You have to go through, through it. That's a commuting area. What the fuck are you talking <laughs> about? You have to go through it. If you come to Japan, you will have to go through Shinjuku yeah, Station yeah. or something. That is not a tourist destination. What the that fuck are you just... talking about? I, I, we're thinking like if like Ichiran or something. That's yeah. what we're thinking about. Oh, like, I see. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, okay. Shibuya Crossing. Yes, yeah. very okay, yes, Shibuya Crossing. Just a lot of people crossing a road and it's always very busy. And uh, Shibuya is very, very crowded always. And I hate crowds. Uh, yeah, Shibuya also, at least in that immediate vicinity, that area is not very good. Mm-hmm. There is some really good stuff in Shibuya. You have to walk a bit further up the roads yeah. and go yeah. into the alleys. And so a lot of the times I think, uh, yeah, I think it's fair to say it's a little overrated. This yep. Shibuya is definitely made for tourists first. Yeah. I like Shibuya. Um, hmm? I like Shibuya. Well, I like Shibuya too, but <laughs> I don't go near the tourist areas. Like no, the no, ma- yeah. all the main streets of Shibuya are all like tourist areas. Yeah, and, like, it's, it's always way too crowded as like, well. Like if you're going to something on the main road, you're probably gonna be overcharged and it's gonna be mid. Right, yeah. Don't eat any food on that road. Question, Akihabara overrated or I think Akihabara underrated? is now overrated. I think it's perfectly rated. It's mm. not overrated, it's not underrated. What are you talking about? What do you mean? What the fuck? Perfect by whomst? Rated perfectly by me. Rated rated perfectly <laughs> by, by the hundreds and thousands of weebs who. I think yeah. I think Akihabara like as a tourist destination. I still would put it on the top five, because it's it's yeah, like I'm gonna guess. I guess it's so. it's not like high, but it's not like completely overrated. Where I'd be like, don't go to Akihabara. If, if someone wants to go to Akihabara, I'd be like, ah, I think you're having a good time. Yeah, I think if you're an anime, I think the problem is that like my parents are like, yeah, let's go to Akihabara. And I'm like, you, there's nothing for you there. It's limited to like what kind of person you can take. Like, you I, can't for, take a, a yeah, family for like an everyday person, I think it's like not, you. it's kind of just a lot of walking for not a lot of stuff you will appreciate. But if mm-hmm. you like- It's anime, not a lot, a lot of walking, Akihabara is tiny. Yeah, but you just end up walking around like stores all yeah. day. Yeah, but you just walk all, you just walk around stores all yeah, day looking at stuff. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's like- That's there's, just Tokyo in general. Yeah. yeah, and also the prices now are so high in the stores generally because of scalping. Mm. Well, it's- Stuff isn't really as good of a deal as it used to be. Yeah, I mean, I've taken a few people to Akihabara now. Yeah. Like even people who are not into like weeb and anime stuff. And yeah, I guess it's honestly, fine. they just like, it's just very- Cool to see a new culture. That that's is true. Just that's very, true. very intense. And there's art. I mean, I, t- I take everyone there, so I guess yeah. I'm no better. I'm yeah, I, I, I think it's like perfectly rated. It's okay, like, it's, it's like, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll put rescind it on there. my comments. The okay. one thing I do not like about Akihabara is that I think it the food options generally are a bit that shit. That is it. That is yeah. it. There's yeah. one or two good spots. You don't go to Akihabara to eat food. Yeah, and yeah. it kind of sucks because if you want to eat and you're like looking at anime stores, you have to kind of walk pretty far to get to anything kind of good. Well, you got to go to like towards Ueno. Yeah, like which c- yeah. kind of sucks. Which is like not that far. It's like maybe like a twenty minute walk, but yeah. you might yeah. as well just take the train. But like you, later. you can't go to Akihabara and like have like a really nice lunch and then go back to Akihabara. It's like you when you you go to Akihabara yeah. probably mm-hmm. around lunch, 
do all your shopping and then go to Ueno. Mm. Where yeah. You can actually go and eat some good food. And all right. Second yeah. question. Right. Asakusa. Overrated? Oh, 100%. Overrated. Actually, 100% overrated. Overrated. 100% yeah. overrated. Overrated. Well, there you go. That's it's one like, for the list. <laughs> Asakusa, yes. If, you don't, if you're not going to Kyoto, but yeah, I even think Kyoto's overrated. I, I, I just I, think I, spending a whole day looking at temples is cool, but I also think that like it's there's a lot better things that you can do with your time. I'm and just it's not a, so busy. I'm just not a temple person. Uh, yeah. And I don't, I don't know. I know some people are into that. I don't get it personally. Mm. Um, even when people come to Thailand, they're like, "I want to see temples," and I'm like, "I, I think it would be, it well, would, now. yeah." <laughs> but it's like, I think because there are so many shrines and so many smaller temples exactly. around I, Tokyo, I think you get the same vibe. Yeah, yeah. And, and I think it's a much better experience when it's not crowded. Yeah, I think though, Asakusa, the biggest misconception with Asakusa is that all Asakusa is is just Kaminari Mon. And the little theme park yeah. and stuff. But too. like, you go outside of there and towards the older parts of Asa Asakusa, which is like not that far from the main, you know, district. Mm. There's a lot of like really <coughs> old, cool like stores and like izakayas and stuff like so that that we, have like their own vibe. Should we tre preface it to Sensorji? Yeah, Sensorji I think is overrated. Yeah, I think, I so think though yeah. Asakusa as a city, I think is perfectly right. Yeah. Okay. Because it's like uh, you get uh. that old school feeling of like Japan. Yeah, but in the convenience of a city. Yeah, okay. Because so, like you'd have to go like pretty far out of any kind of city to get that's that true. same vibe. Otherwise, yeah. So we have Sensology. We have. Yeah. Where we have? That's it so far. And we have Shibuya Crossing. Oh, Shibuya, Shibuya Crossing. Crossing. Yes. I think. What do you think? I think. What do you think about Tokyo Skytree? I think Tokyo Skytree is so mid. You've traveled so far. Yeah, I think shit it's, ton of money. I think it's overrated. I think it's overrated. And yeah, it's cool that you can see the skyline, but you know what you get a be way better view when you're flying into Tokyo and you look out the window. Also, it's you way also better. just go up to like Shibuya Sky. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Well. I think that's, like a, that's a better yeah. view, I think, of the city than Skytree. Yeah. I, I think the problem with Skytree is that it's so far away. Yeah. And and the, the fee to go up is quite, I think it's like 6,000 yen. It's, or five, yeah. it's really yeah, expensive. It's really, and there's really always expensive. like a two hour line. <clears throat> um. I also think even though I, I fucking love Golden Guy, I think that for a tourist, it kind of sucks. I, I disagree. Really? I, I was Golden Guy is like pretty top for me. Really? I, I, there's never mm. been a time I've taken someone to Golden Guy and they've had a bad time. Well, that's because you're with them. I think if you know a few <laughs> of the customs and you know a little bit of Japanese, Golden Guy is a completely different experience. You think so? 100%. Also, money. Uh, Golden Guy is an absolute rip off compared to the rest of the Japan. You think about it, you, gotta, you pay 1,000 yen to sit down. Mm -hmm. It's always at least 1,000 yen a drink. Yeah. Um, so like when you're, as a tourist, if you're like, cause you know, most people who come here, they, they're trying to get their money's worth. I think yeah. Golden Guy is terrible value for money. Uh, and if you don't speak any Japanese or have anyone in your party who does, I think it is also just a worse experience. Also, well, you can get a better experience of Golden Guy, but for less money if you just go to Shimokitazo. You you can yeah, also, you can. I guess it depends what you're going for with Golden Guy. I feel like Golden Guy is more foreigner friendly though, because there is, like there is a, I, I you see more foreigners in Golden Guy than you do Japanese people nowadays. And I feel you like- You do, but they're very good at keeping them separate. Yeah. Yeah. You might've I might noticed that a lot of the bars that have foreigners don't have Japanese people in. And if they do, it's like one and, and mm -hmm. normally- Also, I think in this day and age, it's pretty like, you'd have to be pretty unlucky to like stumble upon an area in Tokyo that's not foreigner friendly. You know, cause like yeah. Shimokita nowadays as well is like used to be very not Jap, uh, very not foreigner friendly. But nowadays like there's fucking foreigners everywhere in Shimokita. Depends what you want though. Like, are you going there because it's like, whoa, bars so close to together, yeah. this is cool. Or are you going there to like try and talk to people? Or yeah. Like, I think it, 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 you need to know what you want from Golden Guy before you go mm -hmm. so that you get the experience you're looking yeah. for. But I think like as a flat out tourist recommend recommendation, I wouldn't recommend it. Unless I was like with my friend, like yeah. I took yeah. them because I'm like I know a great, I know a few of the great bars. I have a good rapport with them. I think it'll be great. We'll have I, fun time. Yeah, I disagree. I think it's a great place for someone to feel like it's they're on an adventure. You know, I've recommended Golden Guy to a few people, and it's always just you know it's intimidating, but mm. they always have a great time because it's like s such a different vibe than anything they're like used to. And you know, it, it might not be like, let's go to Golden Guy every fucking night, but it's yeah. always like cool the first time because they always experience something new mm. and it, there's enough foreigners around where it's not, so, they're, they're not gonna have a trouble, they're not gonna have trouble finding a bar. You uh, know? I, I, yeah, I mean, I've, 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 I normally tell my friends, I'm, I'll normally be like, yeah, if you wanna go, we can go, or you should, mm -hmm. you know, you should at least check it out. Yeah. And I had some friends that have been like, yeah, this is terrible. Like they spent oh, so really? much. Oh really? Yeah. I, I, I had one or two friends who were like, yeah, 
I just think it was way too much money for what you get. I've had some bad experiences as a Golden Guy. Yeah, I mean, I, I to be fair, for, for the record, I go to Golden Guy quite a lot. Mm -hmm. I think I, uh, <laughs> uh, I go there. I know I know a bunch of places, and I also think it's like a really good way of because um, if you want to get that that kind of bar culture in Japan, yeah. you kind of have to either be with Pete <laughs> or or have like a very lucky night. Like yeah. I think it's but Golden Guys kind of encourages, hey, talk to everyone at the bar. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, but sometimes it's I feel a coin like flip. it's a coin flip because now Golden Guys become such a good tourist destination that they've kind of figured out like how to get tourists in and not give them that experience in a mm. way. Um, there are a lot of bars there. You go they are they are only for foreigners. They, you, there are no, mm -hmm. no Japanese people are going in and it's a lot of those. And that's why you always go up the stairs. Stairs yeah. are always go up the stairs. Don't go on the, the bottom level because I think that a lot of the time you just you just run into more foreigners. Yeah, yeah and it is scary having to go up the stairs and park your head. Yeah, I, th I think Golden Guy. The fun you have in Golden Guy is uh, related to how brave you are willing to go. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if if, True. if, you if you're just, an outgoing person, it'll be great. If yeah. you're not, I wouldn't recommend it. Well, if you're an introvert, I wouldn't recommend going to that kind of area yeah. in general, you know? Well, <laughs> I think also if you're looking for a night that doesn't break the bank, it's not Golden yeah, Guy. Yeah, it's not Golden, golden Guy. Golden Guy, if you're looking for, if you're in Golden Guy for more than like two, three hours, yeah. you're probably racking up If you're like looking a, for a cool experience that yeah. you can't really get probably where you are at, then I would still recommend Golden Guy. Really? I've been I, out I just think it's a, it's a money thing. It's a money, I mm -hmm. think it's just expensive for what it is. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. You, can get you can get similar, if not better experiences for way less money by just going to other places that are not as, convenient or like yeah. well known as Golden mm -hmm. Guy, but I think offer just as authentic of an experience. Yeah, and I, I, yeah. I've been to, when I took my brother, we went to, I went to Golden Guy and uh, the first bar we went to, the bartender was resident sleeper. Yeah. He just, he would do not want to talk. He did not want to interact. And I was like, this is not the vibe. This is not, this is not Golden Guy. <laughs> yeah. I was like, let's get one drink and let's leave. But we'd already spent like Gosen. Yeah. Because yeah. it's two table charges, 1,000 yen each. And then we had to pay 1,200 yen for the drinks. <laughs> and then, you know, I bought, I bought the guy a drink because I was hoping he'd talk to me. I was <laughs> like, like, let's talk, rip, dude. <laughs> so I'm, I'm like, I'm like 40 bones deep with what, with two Bud, Budweiser's. It's like, what the heck? That ain't freedom. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, that's a tip as well. If you get a golden guy, buy the bartender a drink. Yeah. That's that's how you also have the higher chance of having a good time. Where else is overrated? Another overrated thing. Uh, I mean, I think, I think, Ichiran is good, but you should never line up for it. I don't believe in lining up for Ichiran or like, Anything? what is the Gyukatsu Motomura? What is that one? Is that the one too? Oh, Gyukatsu, yeah. Everyone <laughs> fucking, I walk past the one in Shibuya, insane. It's like a fucking three hour line for and the it's, middest it's so, Gyukatsu. It's so mid. You do not need to get Gyukatsu Moto, ma, moto ma, 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 Matsumura, ma, Motomatsu. I don't know which one it is. What's the name? Mm -hmm. Is that the brand? Which one's the one? Can you Google it? Gyukatsu Motomura. It's the chain. It's fucking, there's so many of them. Yeah, and yeah. every Motomura. single time I walk past any of these branches, there's like three hour waits and I'm begging you, they're a way better Gyukatsu if that's what you want. Yeah. You yeah. don't need to go here. <clears throat> it's the same with ramen. Please, please don't line up for ramen. It's, I mean, you, uh, uh, Ichiran, sorry. You can line up yeah. for other, other good local stores, but please don't line up for Ichiran. It's like lining up for a McDonald's. That's like a Japanese person going to America and be like, ah, oh, sugoi, cheese baga lining up two hours. It's which ridiculous. They, which they 100% yeah. would. Well, they would, yeah, they, yeah. Would, they yeah. would. Trust me, there's no one who is worse at queuing than people in Japan. Yeah. They love to queue for anything. People hire people to queue because they know it works. Because if people see a queue, they're like, oh shit. They're called Sakura. <laughs> really? Yeah. You know why they're called Sakura? Why? Because like cherry blossoms, they look good at the front of the store. Yeah, oh. it's, it's like a thing. People yeah. in Japan it's will the, just- They get paid to line up. Yeah, they, they, will, the yeah they will just join a line because they think it's good. And for the love of God, please don't line up for yeah, any of these chains. People will line up for McDonald's here just, just yeah. to put things We literally, fucking Burger King. Yeah, we, Burger we, yeah, yeah, Burger King. They used to line up at Burger King all the time. <laughs> Do not line up for Ichiran or Motama, uh, Gyukatsu. Trust me, just type in Gyukatsu, right? What you do is you go to Google Translate, you type it in, in and you get the Japanese for it, copy paste it, put it in Google Maps in Japanese. You get way more recommendations. You'll be good. You'll have yeah. a way better time, way better food. Just don't go to Gyu Listen, Gatsu Motobura or each, you know. It's good, no, it's a preface. The food is solid, but it's not worth waiting like yeah. two or three yeah. hours for. My God, please, come on. It's because they, they, they make you fucking, they put it on the plate and you call yourself, oh, it's like, oh my God, it's so cool, Ooh, it's so cool. But I, I saw someone on Twitter who was like, I'm in Japan, why should I go eat? Everyone replied, Gyu Katsu Motobura. And I was oh. like, I was like, no. What's next, Kokoichi? Yeah. yeah. Like, it's like, why would you take suggestions off other people who don't 
like <laughs> who've I've, never left their country. Yeah, I've never yeah. been there. Like I just don't get. It. Yeah, don't. So, so although those chains are good, and, and if I, I've had it and it tastes delicious, please don't line up for them. Uh, I just, I just, you shouldn't. All right. Um, is there any other overrated ones? Like, I don't even know what the other tourist attractions are. Tokyo Labs. Team Labs. Team oh, labs. Team, labs. team Labs. I don't agree with that. I think it's perfectly rated. I think it's perfectly rated Aww. as well. It's it's a fine experience, yeah. but- I've never been, I, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think it's perfect to take people who have never been before, yeah. Yeah. but I don't think it's a place that has like, replayability, if that makes sense. That's kind of like, I think yeah. I, I, the one thing that I've had my, all my friends tell me who have gone, they're like, yeah, it's just too busy. Yeah. It's so yeah. fucking random. Yeah, I, th I think that's the thing where, you know, we have people like Mr. Beast making a video yeah. on it now, which is like, okay, that's just completely it's a wrap. blown out. <laughs> it's, it's a wrap. You, go, you can never go there again. Mm. Um, <sighs> Mario Kart's. Get hella overrated tourist destination. I don't know if that counts. Do the Mario Kart. You, you, you mean the Mario Kart experience? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never done it. Why do you think it's overrated? Uh, it just looks shit. What? Doesn't it look shit? I think it looks like ass. I think it looks like fun. What, just being a nuisance? I don't know, you're just being on the road with your bros, just exploring the city. I mean, I've never done it, but it looks yeah. fun. So I've never I, done it, but I, I, I can't. I can't say if it's overrated or not because yeah. I've never done it before. It just uh, looks awful. It kind of looks fun. <laughs> yeah, right? It kind of looks just, fun. It's just a fucking small it's, car. It's one, those, I've never done it's one of those things that you see it on the street as you're like walking in Tokyo and you're like, that looks fun. Oh, I was pissed yeah. off because one of them nearly fucking hit me on when I was cycling. I was like, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, that's your fault for being a cyclist. <laughs> what the fuck? What are you, American? Temporary <laughs> Japanese. That's like, that's, like, that's like fucking American cyclist videos. Yeah. Whenever, like there'll be a guy cycling perfectly normal and a car will ram into him. They'll be like, cyclist had it coming. And it's like, what the fuck is wrong with Americans? They genuinely think cyclists should die. It's in, it's in, it's genuinely worrying. Well, we're the same in Japan. Yeah. No. Well, I mean, you got hit, right? <laughs> no, he nearly fucking hit me. Oh. All uh, right. But it wasn't a Japanese guy. It was American. It's always, it's always a. Oh, well, it's always a he was, he was yeah. after blood, man. He was, oh, sorry, man. I was like, fucking sorry. I think I'm fucking paralyzed. <laughs> what are you talking about? Sorry. All right, so what are the ones we actually would recommend then? In Tokyo? In to this is hard, right? Let's because yeah, everywhere I, I recommend is outside of Tokyo. Yeah, I know, same here. I, I have the exact same problem when someone recommends, when someone asks me what to do in Tokyo, because I, I think a lot of Tokyo is kind of overrated, if I'm being uh, honest. A lot of Tokyo is just like restaurants. Yeah, it's mostly like restaurants like and bars. Food and, and bars. I think, yeah, the best thing you can do is you go to bars. Bars in Tokyo are like next level. I mean, the, the entire culture is built fucking around drinking. Yeah. yeah. So you should go and have a drink. Um, and I what's, feel like what's if you- your, What's your top prefecture then that you would recommend to people outside of Tokyo? I think a lot of people go to Kyoto and Osaka, but I think Kobe is way more fun than both of those. Really? Kobe is fun as fuck. Kobe and is Kobe is a beautiful city. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's literally on the side of a mountain. It's like overshadowed yeah. by Osaka yeah. and Kyoto. Which is crazy because one, you get Kobe beef, you know, oh. it's great. Mm -hmm. uh, well, actually you can Kobe beef in Osaka because anywhere part of Hyogo is Kobe beef. Anyway, yeah, but it yeah. doesn't matter. The point is uh, the, the food's amazing. There's these stunning, like the, it, cause it's on a mountain. So it looks insane. And like anywhere in the city looks amazing. There's like a giant cable cart. It's a great, great, awesome place with amazing food. And who yeah. doesn't want Kobe beef in Kobe? Yeah. Uh, and also fucking fun ass bars. Cause it's like the home of Yakuza. So oh, it's yeah. very fucking nightlife centric. So if you yeah. like nightlife, Kobe is probably my favorite nightlife, even more than Osaka. Ooh, I think really? my favorite nightlife is Hiroshima. Hiroshima, Hiroshima is very, fun very nightlife. fun. Hiroshima's that's, nightlife, that's awesome. is, Hiroshima's nightlife is crazy. Awesome. Yeah. I think Osaka again is so used to tourists. Yeah. yeah. That, like I think I, in my head, I, I have this ideal perfect nightlife where it's like, I don't want it to be catered towards me, a foreigner. Yeah. I want to just be the guy who shows up and is trying to like figure it out. You yeah. Know? I think that like when they're catering it to me, I'm like, no, you've, you've ruined it. Yeah. <laughs> like you had something amazing and now you're trying to make it catered for me. And I don't want that. I don't want it catered for me. I can get that at home. Yeah. What I want is what you would have done for any other normal Japanese person. And I want to be a part of that and experience mm. that. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if you want to go up to relax, I think if you're willing to go up to Hokkaido. Hokkaido's a good Sapporo. It's, uh, yeah, Sapporo. Sapporo also has an amazing nightlife. Yeah, which also has a good nightlife and Osporo there's enough pe enough things around the area where you can just fucking relax yeah. and it will be one of the most beautiful places and you can have amazing fucking food as well. Um, <laughs> Kagoshima was really fucking fun. Kagoshima was great. Kagoshima oh, wow. is known as the happiest place in Japan. <laughs> Specifically the residents the happiest. Uh, and everyone was, I've never been to a place where people just talk to you. 
I was just walking around. People That's just, just all yeah. of Kyushu, bro. Yeah, people yeah. just start talking to me. But specifically yeah. in Kagoshima, everyone was really happy and people were really proud of how talkative they were. Yeah. Right. So people would just keep talking to us. Even though we were there for like half a day, people would just talk to us. It was great. Uh, <laughs> just Kyushu in general is amazing. You have yeah. to go. Cool. Uh, I think, I think. I don't like Kyoto. I've been so many times I now. I don't like Kyoto. I just don't like Kyoto. I yeah. think that's overrated. What do yeah. you think of uh, USJ? Because that's all- f- oh, yeah. I don't yeah. like amusement parks. So. Yeah, it's flat. Nah, that's true. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Uh, I mean, it has whatever. Nintendo World, yeah. that's about it. It's, but other it's than fine. that, it's, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All right, so we didn't even name five places in Tokyo. Listen, <laughs> I, I, you, what I do is I eat and drink. Yeah. That's all I do. Yeah. Uh, I don't do anything else here because why? what else would I eat, do? Eat, drink, and shop. That's it. Because the best thing you can do in Japan is eat and drink. Yeah. Yep, I agree. So don't spend all your money on doing weird shit like USJ. Just go and eat. Food. Yeah. Go to arcades. Arcades is arcades on hype. karaoke as karaoke. well. It's, it's not even a place. Just like there's so many places you can do it in Tokyo. You don't need to specifically go to that place. Okay, yeah. if not tourist, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a if not tourist I'm a places, passive tourist though. I yeah. don't I don't what do about, stuff. I just kind of chill and eat. What about areas in Tokyo then that you would actually recommend? Because we can't just say go go eat. Go oh, well, Shimokita for me. Shimokita, Shimokita, yeah. Shimokita was, was fucking awesome. It's nice. Yeah. It's like because yeah. it's like it has that like all. It's like that perfect mixture of like the kind of like rustic old school Tokyo, but recently it's gotten like quite gentrified. Yeah. So it's also there's also a lot of like newer shit happening. So it's yeah. like especially the mm-hmm. nightlife is really sick because it's like you get all of this mixture of like these old school izakayas, but also these like kind of new school bars at mm. the same time. So yeah. you, you kind of have everything, like really good shops there as well, like really cool clothes stores uh, there. Like yeah, it's sick. Yeah. Yabasu, Yabasu, fuck like Abisu, sorry. Abisu, oh, Abisu, Abisu's yeah. great. Abisu, Abisu's is great as well. I, I would say like- During the day, it's kind of boring, but at night- oh, yeah, If, like if, you, if you want yeah. a good nightlife, Abisu and I think Nakameguru is- Nakameguru is uh, good too, Nakameguru. yeah. Pretty good as well. Very trendy area, got a lot of cool- Nakameguru's a vibe. Love yeah. that place called Red Eye. I don't know, it's like White Eye, is it or something? What is it? What is Naka, Naka, Nakameguru is like- White Eye? What is what is White Eye? Is it one, all the those town names are so bizarre. What uh, is Naka- Mejiro. Mejiro, yeah, Mejiro. Yeah. yeah. It's just, what is that like? What, I white. Yeah. Like, yeah. What? <laughs> imagine if we named shit like that. It sounds weird. What's like what, Nakameguro? What does that mean? Just like, oh, middle. Nakameguro yeah, yeah, is middle center. Megaro. Yeah, center. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Center. Ah, sorry, that's dumb. Yeah. yeah. Center eye black. <laughs> yeah, right? Isn't that weird? Like, what the fuck? Because next to Meguro. Yeah, right? Like, it's yeah. just bizarre. A strange name. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I think uh, what else is fun? Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, God. Job. Ikebukuro is not fun, mostly. I don't Ikebukuro really- Ikebukuro has Ikebukuro. some good parts. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ikebukuro is too spread out, I feel. It is, yes. It's I pretty agree. fucking, you have to walk a fucking fair distance. It get is to very anywhere. wide, yeah. yeah. And I'm saying that I'm spoiled as a Tokyo-ite, or whatever it is, we live <laughs> here, bro. If to be American, they'd be like, it's crazy to say that, but- Yeah, Tokyo-ite. Um, I really like Shinjuku. I know you, Joe, you hate it. I love Shinjuku. I can't stand I love Shinjuku because it's so grimy. That's exactly why I hate it. <laughs> That's why I love no, it. I, you know what I don't like about Shinjuku? Mm. It's just way too many people. So I yeah, I, I, I mean, I, I, yeah, I, most of the time I hang out in Shinjuku because I, I just love the griminess of it. Mm-hmm. There are a few areas of Shinjuku that are really, really good. Um, and it's kind of c- crazy that you'll have just, you cross the street and there's suddenly no tourists. And it's like, right. how, how does this happen? Like how does that? How does that like a just a, a, a two minute walk and there's no more tourists? Right. Uh, I think there's a especially like the the all of the not on the west side. The west side kind of sucks, but the east side where there's so many cool things. Yeah. Uh, you just, and and it's kind of like the perfect place of hey, look on the ninth floor. I know a good spot. And you're like, how did you find this? But I, and uh, you would never come across these unless someone tells you it's a great right. spot. Yeah. And I kind of love that aspect to it. Um, That's me and Abisu though. Yeah, Ebisu's like that too. But it's like, and that's why I prefer Ebisu because it's exactly that same feeling. Ebisu's just get, more bougie. But like way less people. It's more, yeah, way less. Well, oh, there's a lot of people Ooh, in Ebisu. Yeah, though. I don't know. Compared Ebisu. to Shinjuku? I mean, Shinjuku's definitely more. Hell no. Yeah, yeah Ebisu's uh, way less people. I just, I just love how grimy also, it is. Also, it's way more close together. Yeah, I just love how grimy it is. It reminds me of Cyberpunk. Ebisu's pretty grimy. I feel like Ebisu's way cleaner than Shinjuku. Ebi- Ebisu's cleaner. Ebisu is like Shinjuku. Back streets of Ebisu are pretty grimy. Oh uh, yeah, it depends where you go. Yeah. Yeah. Which is where a lot of the good bars are. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I like- I don't Abyssu. like about Abyssu is all the good bars you have to fucking book. Yeah. 
Well, is that not the same as Shinjuku? No, no. Shin- they bars that use rock up. Oh. I feel Dick like balls out. yeah. I feel like every time I've been to Ebisu, it's like if we just want to stumble across a place, it's so much harder just because yeah. everything is always packed. Mm. If it's if it's like a weekend or weekday, whereas Shinjuku, you can kind of just like wander around and be like, okay, we're probably gonna find a bar somewhere around here. Mm. Um, but yeah, that's. That's our list, not list. <laughs> that, that was probably the Terrible hardest list. list. Terrible list. This episode is sponsored by Shopify. Boys, I don't know if you know, but I have a clothing brand. Why did you, why why did did you, you pause? pause? Did you, did forget? you forget? And when I'm building my clothing brand, I thought to myself, damn, I need a place online to sell my clothes. Mm-hmm. And that's why mm-hmm. I use Shopify. Look, whether you're selling a little or selling a lot, say Joey, bring it in, man. <laughs> Shopify helps you do your thing. Shopify is a global commerce platform that helps you sell at every stage of your Ooh. business. Mm-hmm. From the launch your online shop stage to the real life shop stage, all the way to the we just hit a million order stage. <gasps> Shopify is there to help you grow. Whether you're selling scented soap or offering outdoor outfits, Shopify helps you sell everywhere Mm -hmm. from their all-in-one e-commerce platform to their in-person POS system. Wherever and whatever you're selling, Shopify's got you covered. Shopify helps you turn browsers into buyers with the internet's best converting checkout, 36% better on average compared to other leading commerce platforms and sell more with less effort thanks to Shopify's magic, your AI-powered all-star. So yeah, legitimately uh, over a nonsense, we do use Shopify because it is so simple, even if you have no idea about anything when it comes to like selling anything online. So what are you waiting for? You can sign up for a $1 per month period at shopify.com slash trash. Or lowercase. So go to shopify.com slash trash now to grow your business no matter what stage you're in. Shopify.com slash trash. Back to the episode. Oh, there's only one left. This, this one we're not talking. there's only one left. And the final one. Oh fuck. Top five iconic anime moments. What? That's so subjective. Rock Lee taking the weights off. I don't even watch it and I reference that. <laughs> Actually, I agree with you. You just have that, to. That, like, that, just, that is like, no, bro, fuck off, Joey. Fuck, fuck bro, off. I no, don't, no, I don't no. even, I haven't even watched that. And I yeah. know that moment yeah, and what yeah. it symbolizes. I, I, that, that is such- There are, there are so many more iconic no. moments just in Naruto. Fuck off, name one. Yeah, name one more iconic yeah. moment. Sasuke, do- no, 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 I, no, I, I no, never Rock heard of that. I never no, heard of that. No, that is, I had I never more, heard of that. I had more of a visceral <laughs> impact reading that than I did the fuck. Ain't I, no I, way. I, I've never heard of that. That's because you haven't yeah. read Naruto. But yeah, he knows about what Rock the, Lee taking what, off the yeah, training Do you not understand what yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. trying to yeah, say? That's, yeah. a, that's a basic bitch scene. <laughs> We're not <laughs> talking about like fucking We're fine wine, iconic, my collection Joey, of iconic, cigar iconic. moments. Iconic. We're talking about like the generic yeah. iconic moments that everyone would know and yeah. love. Look, okay, bottom line, I'm not putting any Naruto scenes in. That's, that's I think Rock Lee's Naruto off the is like one of the most popular anime of all time. That I is take like, a potato chip and eat it. I'd rather put that in. No, that's- what? No, no, no. I I am Kira is more I iconic. Am, yeah, okay, that's I, is, is more iconic. Well, that's I, just I, a meme. Or, I think, or, I, think, or, I, think I think the Rock Lee the, one. The yeah. I think the Rock the Rock Lee one is that deserves to be on. There. I, th- I I think Rock Lee. Oh, oh, I don't. I think Rock Lee above Death Note. Rock, yeah, Rock, I agree. Rock that. Lee above I, agree. Death. I, don't I don't even like it. I don't even like it. And I think that's got to be. There's up there. just something like intrinsic about the idea of just taking off the training weights and just having it fucking crash down. That is so, that just transcends just yeah, Naruto in general. Yeah. It's, it's, it's kind of like similar to like- Me when I stop mewing for five minutes, <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. It's like- Take the weights off my chin. It's like <laughs> Goku turning Super Saiyan for the first time. It's nah. just, it's just like- I'd much rather put nah, that I never heard of that. Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck off. I don't know what that is. That's from like on it, bro. <laughs> Go who? <laughs> Who the fuck is Goku? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Are, uh, we go- are we gonna put anything from Jujutsu Kaisen on there? No. Nah, I'd win. <laughs> <laughs> we can't put, just because it's a meme doesn't mean it's like- Nah, can't. I'd win. Nah, I'd win. It, 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 I mean- What about I, the guy with the- We have to separate- have you, seen the, have you seen the parasite meme where he locks in? Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, I love that meme. Actually, such a good meme. Yeah. Good meme. I like the, <laughs> me when the, when the, I, I saw one that was like, me with that, when the Chinese guy, uh, the guy with the Chinese name in the lobby kills me. <laughs> <laughs> Go to lock in. It's so good. It's so good. One of my friends. 
<laughs> one of the most cursed Jutsu Kaisen tweets I saw recently was, you know, you know the guy who basically does like the blood bending where he basically is able to shoot. Oh like, yeah, 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 like yeah. control his blood. <laughs> Uh, so, so Joe, spoiler in, in the second yeah. scene, there's a, like a villain who can do that as well, okay. where he can like control the blood, and there's like a big fight about him shooting the blood, <laughs> and a tweet just goes, "If he had HIV, he'd be a special grade curse." <laughs> oh my god, that's so fucked up. <laughs> what the fuck? That's so good. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> um, Toxic. Blood. How does this have to do with iconic moments? <laughs> I don't. I, Jujutsu Kaisen. I feel has just. It's reaching this level of popularity that is just insane. Like it's. Did you see like the fucking Usher? Uh, the the Usher picture what? that spoiled Jujutsu Kaisen. No. No. Did you not see this? No. What are you talking about? Usher cosplayed as Gojo on his Instagram and in the caption, he spoiled Jujutsu Kaisen. What the fuck? <laughs> I, uh, I'm not just saying, can, can you search up Usher Gojo? What the fuck? I did not have this, I, I didn't. <laughs> Gojo is kind of iconic though. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think, oh, it says. Oh my God, bro. <laughs> um, Moon on cut that just in case there's one person in- You can just blur what he said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah just, just blur what he said, but- uh... <laughs> That's so fucking That's, funny. What timeline are we living <laughs> in? What timeline are we on, right? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Okay. All right, all right, not, not, not yet. Just guys, okay, not can yet. you type in iconic anime moments? I just want to see- Yeah, let's see uh, what Google- well, well, it's going to be let's Super what, Saiyan on there. Let's see wow. what Google says. Yeah, Goku goes Super Saiyan, Naruto versus Sasuke. No. Ash wins the Alola League. No. Ishigo no. saves Rukia. No. Saitama defeats Boros. No. no. Uh, eating the potato chip. Emperor Lelouch. Era manipulates. Grisha. United, Grisha. United Grisha. States of United Smash. States of Smash. No. No. Ultra Instinct. This is all I mean, mid as fuck. Yeah. 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 I, they're, they're, I, I feel like a lot of them is, I don't know if they've had the same kind of like iconic impact is I'm thinking about the scenes that impacted me personally. I'm thinking about the scenes that impacted the most people, Joey. I don't, I don't give a fuck about you, Joey. Yeah, Joey. Who the fuck are you? Well, we're, okay, we're talking so, about iconic here. Yeah. I, iconic can't just be one I, like impacting one person. Well, I mean, me and my friends were like, this is fucking insane. All right, what, what, what's, what's like, on your show? Okay, like then? if we're going back in time, like first time I saw Gear Second. I was like, that's fucking crazy. Nah, nah, I don't think that was crazy. It's it's not he just crazy. Gum -gum it's not fucking... crazy nowadays because we're up to fucking gear five. But if you think back to when One Piece was at that point and you saw gear second, you're just like, what the fuck? I don't mm. even think that's the most iconic scene in One Piece. Nah. What's the most iconic scene? I don't know, crying to a ship. Yeah, that was kind of iconic. Uh, the, ha the hands up. Yeah, hands yeah. Up this, how the fuck do we pick one iconic scene from One Piece? Like, that's just- Burning the Marine flag? Yeah, fuck. That's an iconic scene. Let's just let's just go through all the best fucking scenes. Like, yeah, the fucking declaring war. Yeah. Every um, ace. Yeah, I, I don't know what you guys are talking about. Uh, that's what, please. Yeah, I won't. I'm, yeah, I, that's why I only just said ace. Like, <laughs> Luffy putting the hat on Nami. Oh, like, oh. Let's just put all of One Piece. <laughs> <laughs> let's just put all of One Num Piece on number there. Number one iconic anime moment. <laughs> yeah. The existence of One Piece. How, how do we pick one? Okay, I'll, I'll allow Goku going Super Saiyan. Yeah, Goku, 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 Goku going we're Super Saiyan is like a blanks. generational icon. Yeah, that, that, that transcends anime yeah. itself. Um, um, I, uh, I honestly think, yeah, that and the Rock Lee moment are the two ones that stand all right, out to All right, fine, me. we'll put Rock Lee. The most, uh, because Shonen, Shonen fans have like. I mean, like I'm taking the weights off. It's like a. It's yeah. like a term now. Yeah. Like that's a, that's like a term people say, and I don't, I don't even think some people realize what they're referencing. Well, I don't know if they're referencing. I mean, weighted. So I don't know. If, I don't know if Naruto was the first one. Did it wasn't that. the first one, but it was. What what is? Well, that taking off the training weights. Yeah, what's that beeping? Oh, it's the GoPro. Yeah, but I think okay. the reason why it's become popular is you know, and as a saying, yeah, because I mean, I mean, I mean, I don't think they're the ones that do it, but I think you got to give it credit for popularizing, like yeah, taking yeah. the weights. I, I don't think yeah. there's anything as because you know, uh, Dragon Ball had weighted uh, clothing as well, but mm. I don't think it's as iconic as just that one scene where Rock Lee takes off the training weight because it's so extra that I think that's imagery has just stuck with people for a very, very long time. Mm. Um, uh, you don't think any Death Note scene 
belongs here. I think Kira's laugh has to be in there. Like I am the Kira's laugh with the I am Kira. That was iconic as shit. I think it's hard to narrow down the most iconic moment in Death Note. It's, I, oh, I'd man. say that's my number one. I mean, I, mean I, I feel like Kira's confession was probably the most iconic part yeah. Uh, yeah. of that. If we're putting Death Note on, anything from Attack on Titan. Yeah, I was thinking about that. I think if I had to pick any, it would be obviously spoilers. So if you have, haven't watched any of these shows, please, this yeah. is, I'm stalling to allow you to skip ahead until the segment is over. I've given you plenty of time. Put the t- Fuck put it the, out. Put the timestamp. <laughs> yeah. Right yeah. Um, I mean, the reveal of uh, yeah. Bert Holden. Yeah, I was, I was thinking about that exact probably scene as well. Or the speech. Yeah, before. I was going to say the Erwin speech. The yeah, Irwin it's speech. either Erwin speech or we're doing this. But I do love right the here. I do love the me talking to my future self or something meme. Well, the one reason Aaron's talking to his dad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I also do think that, <laughs> that is so fucking iconic and it lives rent free in my head as a meme. Is it? Is it iconic because it's, it's an meme. iconic scene or is it because it's a meme? I think it can be both. I think it can be iconic and the well, meme Yeah, but we help. also have to distinguish between- Yeah, I think iconic, yeah. in terms of iconic moments, yeah. the, the turning point of Attack on Titan is that reveal. Yeah. yeah. And that's when it, it, it goes from a, Already an oh shit to an oh yeah. shit. Yeah. And just the manner, like I just- The like, subtle reveal, yeah. I, I was just like, how the, like, even if it's in the manga, he reveals this massive plot point, just like in the background. Did it's, you it's did just, you did you also reverse when you watched that the first time? I thought I misread. Yeah, I thought I, I, thought I misread the subtitles. Yeah. I was like, huh? What, uh, huh? I was like, <laughs> because, why? Because here's what I think is genius about it. I think everyone knew who like the Titans were going to be. It was- I, I didn't. You did it? No, I didn't. You did it. I didn't know you did it. I know it. God, I, it's just like, oh, why, why, why are we suddenly in season two where we're putting a lot more focus on these new characters that has never been in a focus? My before. last brain cell. Yeah, yeah, I, was, I, was, I was fucking bored. I was like, why are we fucking focusing on these losers? I was like, yo, get back to the squad. What is this shit? Like, <laughs> I was like, right. I don't care about the fucking jaw titans. Stop yeah. yapping, bro. Show me Aaron. Yeah, I mean, I, I knew. I pretty much knew who both I of those titans no were going to be. No but what surprised me was just the, wait, we're doing it right now? This is, yeah. we're, we're doing that right now? I mean, the the hair was a definite hot. Huh? The rhino hair. Oh yeah. yeah plus oh, the yeah. armored titan having the yeah. same hair. I was like. Yeah. <laughs> so that's, that's a coincidence. Yeah. Like, that's uh, weird. Yeah. yeah. But I, I'm, I'm willing to put that on there. Okay. So what else, what other iconic moments are there in anime? Uh, what are some of the most famous anime of all Kurt time? Geass eating pizza. <laughs> uh, I mean, I love it personally. Yeah, that's- uh, I mean, I see it on the thumbnail right there. I like would Spike say- Spiegel bang. I would say the Akira bike Oh skit. yeah, yeah. Right. Akira bike slide. Yeah, the bike slide. Right. Right. That slide. That is the single-handedly one of the greatest scenes in. It's anime. almost yeah. become like annoying to see it referenced now because <laughs> yeah. everything, everyone with a bike references it. It's yeah. like okay, <laughs> but it's, it's so swag. cool. It's, it's so cool. Awesome. Yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. That we have to put that on. Yeah, there. the Akira bike slide is definitely one yeah. of the most iconic moments. Okay, uh, um, that has been referenced. Would what about um? Ghost in the Shell when he does the backflips up the stairs. <laughs> I hate that I know exactly the exact scene you're talking one. about. <laughs> what about all of Exarm? Yeah, all, <laughs> of, Exarm. all of Exarm. <laughs> oh gosh. Um, is, that, is that an iconic scene in Ava? I mean, what is the most iconic Get scene? Get in the in robot. Ava? Get in the robot. That's more of a line. But is it, does he even say that? Yeah. I yeah. don't know if he actually says that. I'm he says, Shinji, Eva ni nore. Oh, okay, okay. Which is like, get in the road. Well, it's the like Eva. a very polite way of saying, oh, Shinji, could you actually please get in the road? <laughs> and, then she, and then she's like, Deki no yoto san. It actually doesn't sound like it goes hard as hard in Japanese. Yeah. Because when you, when you, the meaning of it is just get in. Yeah. It yeah. doesn't sound get in like, the Eva. doesn't have the same guttheralness to it. Get in the fucking robot. Get, get, in, get in the, in the, the robot, robot, Shinji. Get in the fucking robot. Okay, so we have so Goku goes too go- polite in Japanese. Really? I think so. It's pretty. It's pretty iconic in Japanese. Really? Fuck. Yeah. It sounds so polite. It's like maybe because I, maybe because I have the English. This must be weird because I have the English notion. Then I hear the Japanese. I'm like, oh, it just sounds like you're saying get in the room. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, um, Rock Lee, Super Saiyan, bike slide, get in the robot. Are we do get in the robot. Mm. <sighs> that's 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 a cool phrase, but so is 
I'd win. <laughs> nah, I'd win. <laughs> I'd win. <laughs> nah, I'd win. <laughs> I refuse to put nah, I'd win. As much as I, as much as I, that's not that's not that's manga as well. That's manga. That's manga. As much as I love that. Yeah, yeah. Is that okay? Should you question? I don't even know if that's actually a real panel. Is that real? It is a real panel. Does he actually say nah, I'd win? I don't think so. No, isn't it? Isn't it like a fan translation? I think it's a fan translation. It's like a fan translation. I've seen the original Japanese panel, and it's like something along those lines. Yeah, but I. Wait, is it like the same? Wait, can we, can we Google this? What's like the Japanese say? It's he says something like "ya katsune," which is like "nah, I'd win." I guess that is "ya katsune." Yeah, wait, if it says "ya," uh, katsa. yeah, katsa. I guess that is kind of like that. Yeah, yeah, it, it's literally "nah, I'd win." That's so fucking funny. <laughs> it's yeah, katsa. Yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah, that actually yeah. is. Yeah, which is like yeah, yeah I'd win. Yeah, but it's it's the it's the nah. It's the rawness. <laughs> it's nah. The, 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 it's, nah, it's, the nah. The nah. I don't, I don't the, think they quite got the rawness of nah in Japanese. Because yeah, nah. because I hear that, and I'm like, okay, that's like if it. Well, if, it's the cuts the ya, the ya, like makes it like casual. Yeah, cuts yeah, yeah. is the casualness, right? Cuts because you could yeah. I, I, could you just translate to that to like I'd win. Yeah, I'd yeah. win. And I, I've, 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 I will win. Yeah, I, just be like, I'd win. Yeah, but like, I feel I like win. the nah, I'd win. Nah, it's, it's the, the, win. The, it's the dismissiveness that just yeah, makes nah it. Is, you know, that just it's makes the pretentiousness. It, yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> nah, I'd win. I can't wait for this to be animated. <laughs> I, I'm, can't, I, can't I can't wait, dait. dude. Let me uh, get a second life. I have no enemies. Uh, I feel that got yeah, pushed actually, because of the meme. That's, I'm willing to put that in there. It's it's I'm iconic, it and then it's it's one of those few also scenes. Also impactful in the show. It's 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 impactful in the show, yeah. and it became iconic because and the memes just make it made it blow up. You know, I, f I feel like it has enough power that oh, we're going to be referencing. I have no enemies for like a very very long time. Yeah. I I reference Nide when a worrying amount. <laughs> it's because it's, so, it's, like it's so easy to reference. <laughs> it's so good to reference. <laughs> But I if, we, if we're talking that though, then like all my almost shinderu is also like that's more that's meme iconic. than iconic though, isn't it? Is it really? I feel like it's iconic. Is, is Nide win the same? Thing? I feel like all my is if we're talking about like Japanese iconic. Then yeah, if, yeah. If we're talking yeah. about just from a Western perspective, I feel like it's only iconic because of a meme and not because of actually like the impact of the story. I don't know, man. It was pretty fucking impactful because he only says it once. Yeah, but yeah, but I mean, like it's. I, I don't think. Fist and also was that popular in Western countries. I don't think it was. Oh, it was. I don't think it was nearly as popular as Japan. It's just though. a generational difference though. Yeah. Yeah. I think, well, I think most fans of Fist and Northstar are not on I mean, If we're doing global anymore. impact, then we have well, to Well, we're, like Fist and Northstar is like one of the best setting anime of all time, but- But that's because uh, of Japan. That's because of Japan. Well, and back when Fist and Northstar aired, anime was not popular. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. That's yeah, what I'm so, saying. Like, I think like yeah. if, we're, if we- It was ahead if, of its time. But if we, if we have to start accounting for the Japanese side of this, I think it's a very different list. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so I think that we shouldn't include well, it. Well, if that if we're accounting for the Japanese side of things, then getting the robot Shinji would be number one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, uh, what other? Can you search up iconic anime? <laughs> because in order to have we iconic have scenes, it. there needs to be fucking Ash in the Mewtwo movie with the oh with the, the fucking submit. Mewtwo monologue yeah, at yeah, the end yeah. is one of the best pieces of anime monologue <laughs> ever. I, I, do, I don't remember. Or was it? It's like or like when everyone turns back from stone. It's like, so it's like, I, rem I remember the Pikachu tears. Some something about like yeah, the yeah. consequences of living or something. Fuck, yeah. what was it? It's such a good quote. It's, it it's funny because I do want to, I do want to put a one piece moment on there, but I, I feel like there's so many iconic moments in yeah, one I mean, piece it's like, that it's you like can't like a, it's like It's like a same with Jojo. Listen, it's like, well, how, do you, how do you narrow down one Jojo? Listen to this shit. This is what Mewtwo says. I see now that the circumstances of one's birth is irrelevant. It is what you do with the gift of life that determines who you are. This was in a children's movie. That goes hard. That goes <laughs> hard. It goes so hard. <laughs> goes hard. God damn. Hard. Like Mewtwo's spitting. For a guy you're catching a master ball too. Yeah, right? <laughs> he literally that said- That is an iconic yeah. fucking quote. Yeah. Okay, uh, let me search up like- Oh, maybe, maybe uh, Gone with Nova when Roy Mustang burns uh, Lust or Envy, which one? Oh. When he like burns to the crisp. Yes. That shit is fucking That's a great iconic. Scene. What about this is- It's, it's probably like it's, the most iconic Full Metal Alchemist scene. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. It's not. What's the most, what's the most iconic? The Nina uh, reveal. Uh, mm. Maybe that or this is a horrible day for rain. I mean, I'm I'm saying this as someone who has not seen it. And yeah, so stop chirping. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, that's, that's, so that's- shut up. That's, <laughs> so I, I can, I I I can, right, yeah, I can yeah, talk no, about the right. scenes I literally, I, I literally made the same argument yeah. 10 minutes ago. Yeah, oh, right. hang on, go up for a second. That number, number three there. 
Simon takes that. That is an iconic oh. scene. That's an it's iconic, iconic. episode. That's iconic. Yeah. That is iconic. But I feel like less people know about Guru yeah. Lagan now. You know, I hate it's kind it. Of, it's kind of sad shame. that Guran Lagan hasn't really, not aged well, but not really. It's, it's aged actually, wonderfully. People have just moved on. Uh, yeah, actually, I actually feel like people still watch Full Metal Alchemist. Yeah. When they could be watching a better show. Wow. By Guru Lagan. What about the ending to Cowboy Bebop? Nah. The bang? Yeah. That's an iconic scene. I feel like we're boomers. That's iconic to ours. <laughs> no, dude, that is more. iconic just in anime. Yeah. Like, even people so. today can, know, can you keep know going bang. up to see what to see what else is on this list? All my losing strength. No. Uh, Lelouch and- That one's so dog. <laughs> Ain't no way. Okay, actually, okay, to be fair, all right? Oh, that's out of, a, the L-tricking Out of all life. of the moments, I think the single scene that got me into anime was that scene. Are you what? serious? No, 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 go up, go up. The L-tricking light? Yeah, that is the scene. That is an amazing That's the scene, scene when I put on the first episode, I was like, maybe you go like that. <laughs> That's, that single scene makes you go like, holy shit. It's like, hold up, let him cook. <laughs> this is like, this is a different breed of show. Yeah. Like the reveal is so smart. Yeah. And gets you so fucking pumped. Yeah, uh, this was an incredible scene. What a like fucking, and I think that's why Death Note enjoyed so much success almost because the first episode just set the stage, like unlike any other first episode we've we've mm. seen in a long time. Oceano Kill wishes it could. Is this second episode? It's second episode. No, it's the first episode, isn't it? Second episode. Oh, really? Yeah. First episode. <laughs> first episode, he doesn't L isn't introduced until because first episode is just setting up the Death Note. Wait, he really? Up the note and Wait, how yeah. does it end? The first episode. Was it where he meets Ryuk? Yeah, I think so. No, he meets Ryuk way earlier, right? No. He's like halfway through no, the No, because he, he's he's writing names and Ryuk goes, oh, you've been busy writing names. Yeah. Oh. You see, it, it, been, first first episode ends with him being like, I will become the god of this new That's world. That's right. Uh, <clears throat> fuck, you're right, shit. That would have yeah. been such a good per first episode. In my mind, this was like the first episode. This is what <laughs> I remember. This is yeah, the first yeah. thing I remember. Yeah. Because I remember the thing drops, he kills the guy who's holding a hostage, and then this, this yeah. is what I remember. Yeah. I... Also, the dub of Death Note is still one of my favorite. Oh, dubs it's it's, of all it's time. a brilliant dub. Mm. So fucking good. I go I, up. Go I actually rewatched Death Note more than any other anime. Sasuke nah, joins Orochimaru. That's shit. not iconic. Bro, that's shit. not iconic. Dog shit. Nah, dog shit. Nah, get get out of here. Nah, bro. Nah. I mean, that's iconic for Pokemon fans. Bro. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that was kind of iconic. It's yeah. the first time you ever got a dub. Face Base past? past is revealed. Well, this is this list that's is not, whack. That's this whack. list is whack. What the fuck? Scroll up. I don't even remember the fuck, that fucking That's scene. not even like the anime moments that changed. Like that's not, not even the most iconic anime moments You're not in their own talk series. about the fridge episode? <laughs> anything, the anything, mushroom anything episode from, in Cowboy uh, Bebop? Maybe the Haruhi Suzumiya song, I don't know. But that like kind of started anime. Oh, Hare Hare Yukai. Yeah. That's not a scene though. Otherwise I'd put is like- Is it not a scene? No, no it's, it's the ending It's, it's the ending. Oh, well, otherwise, otherwise I'd put fucking fuck. uh, Unraveled up there. Uh, as like- Hear me? Okay, actually. <laughs> I'm down to put Unraveled. That's, no, we can't do that. That's not a moment. It's not a moment. It's that not is a moment not a to moment. moment to me. Okay, we that should is, be out. Yeah, sure, you're right, you're right. That is not a moment. Okay, anything from Steins Gate? Uh, when Yujiro has sex for the first time. That's iconic as fuck to me. Uh, oh, well, he has- he, And Yujiro's uh, like, eat yeah. her. <laughs> that, is, that lives in my mind rent free. It's like one of the best anime scenes of all time. Yeah. What an iconic fucking thing. Also, I was watching uh, Shangri-La and fucking Hanuma's voice, Yujiro, is, yeah. his, his voice is unmistakable. Oh yeah. And he's like, he's like a fucking rabbit in it. And he's like, uh, yes, I will train. And it's just so fucked up. Oh, he's the rabbit in that? He's the rabbit, like chief. The, the, the chief yeah, rabbit? Yeah, yeah. Holy I, shit. Well, I'm pretty sure, because the voice is like unfucking mistakable. Yeah. yeah. Fucking ogre. <laughs> I saw a list. I hate these Twitter lists because I get baited into looking at the responses. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, nah, but who'd win if they'd had no powers? And it's like Goku, One Punch Man, uh, Hanma, Yujiro, um, Goku, uh, sorry, uh, Gojo. And everyone was like, yeah, Go Goku wins everyone. Goku, I was like- no, don't. Yujiro I was like, would destroy I him. Like, I was like, are you, no powers and you think Yujiro loses? Are you sure? Boy? But I was getting pissed off and I'm like, I've been, I've been engagement baited. Oh, maybe the Eclipse. That's no anime, fuck. Yeah, yeah. that's more yeah, manga. That's manga. Yeah. The Eclipse. Broccoli, Broccoli yeah. removed his weights. There we go, there we go, there we go. No, Madara cringe, appears. Cringe. Yeah. I'm just a hater. 
as <laughs> <laughs> Who's putting together this list, bro? That okay, I did like that scene. Yeah. Where he goes, I can't I'm not afraid of you. You are you don't you don't mew. <laughs> jawline is weak. Your jawline I would never is fear weak. anyone with a weaker jawline than myself. <laughs> uh, okay. All right, screw that. All right, keep going. Yeah. yeah I, was, I was thinking about if we were oh, gonna do anything with Hunter. I would Hunter. be willing. I'm okay with putting that on the list. I mean, that I is iconic. I would be willing. That is very iconic. Also, if we're talking iconic in Hunter Hunter, the, I mean, I don't want to spoil it, but the, that one death scene. Uh, yeah, wait, 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 which well, one? Well, I don't know what you're talking about. Wait, so actually, I can't. which one? The, the, wait. the fucking me... Chimera Ant one. Oh, 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 yes. That one was, that one was fucking insane. That is one of the most iconic death scenes in all of anime. Oh, that was yeah. fucking hype. Yeah. I was I was like, there's a lot of death scenes in yeah. Hunter Hunter. I, mean, like, I was like, how are you talking about the one? Okay, okay. Yeah, that was yeah. kind of high. Okay, yeah, yeah that, that was that was great. We're just even like the fight. Okay, keep going, keep <sighs> going down. Luffy opens gear fourth. Nah. Uh, yeah. Like Oh, that was so fucking good. But I think picking, picking I don't think I could pick any one JoJo moment. I think JoJo has so many I think moments the, that are hype. Just order order is just become so iconic in general. Yeah. There's not a single like order order. It's just like the idea of it. If I had to pick one from JoJo, it's probably <laughs> <laughs> because it just oh, fucking fun. comes out of nowhere. Yeah. And it's my, so fun to say. My fucking favorite oh, my favorite JoJo moment of all time. Fuck. That's so tough. I do love this one. Yeah. yeah. This one is so fucking hype. Yeah. Um. Oh shit. This is so hard to pick one JoJo one. Or another one from part three it would just be like these. Part three. <laughs> part three has probably the most the series of iconic moments. Quotables. Yeah. It's got the most quotables. I mean, sure. just the last fucking four episodes, five yeah. episodes are just pure like fucking insane. Oh my lord. Got the no yeah. yeah. I mean that. Oh my oh, okay, god. Okay. Are you approaching me? Yeah. Are you fuck. approaching me? Fuck. I'm gonna okay. put that on the list. Yeah. That yeah. Was, yeah. I kind of want to put that on the list. I okay. want to put that on the list. That's okay. That's okay. That's that's okay. okay. <laughs> we found it. We found it. Yeah. It was in. Are you approaching me? So I mean, yeah. the, just like the anime too, but obviously even the manga panels. Yeah. Oh so fucking God. iconic. The manga are so yeah. Weird in that. Globally, yeah. like that that manga panel is globally known. Yeah. As, so as the one. Manga panels that go hard, a thread. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's just this. Yeah. It's one of the few moments where the anime went viral and the manga, the exact same moment in the manga yeah. went, went viral Also well. I, the manga panel, which I, it also went hard in the anime, but it's the one where, where, where Dio's like this. <laughs> what, I don't know what he says in it. But yeah. It's the one where he's sitting down like this. You know the one? Oh, which one? There's a, there's a oh, can you type in Dio? Uh, Dio like menacing look panel or something. He's like sitting down and like, it's really popular in Japan. Oh yes, I see it all yes, the time. yes, 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 yes. You know, what, what is the panel? Which one? Uh, it's the one where he's kind of like straight face. It's just yeah, like yeah, that, yeah. Right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that one, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that one, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that one, that one. one. <laughs> <laughs> That's such an iconic panel. Well, I don't know yeah. what this, I don't know what this is in reference to, but this has become such a fucking meme. Yeah. Cause it's, like, Cause it's the perfect reaction image. To like, oh yes, you're a gamer, but I raise you. Like, it's like, it's like a, whatever you say, I'm better than you. Yeah. Like, can, we, can we do top five iconic manga panels up to this? Like? Half, half of them are fucking Jojo. Yeah, oh, yeah that's true. Okay. Okay, can, can, I, can I see iconic anime moments and yeah. uh, let's, let's, right, let's see what down. let's see what else yeah, they have. Spike goes bang. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm okay. Yeah, to put yeah, that I'm okay on, with but I think it's yeah. Roy Mustang goes hard. Yeah. Goes hard. <laughs> <laughs> Owen's speech. Yeah, Owen's speech. Owen's speech. Honestly, yeah. if we argued that like both of those Attack on Titan moments could be on it, I'd be like, I mean, that's fair. Because yeah, but I we, think, if we had to pick one, I'd go with Owen's speech. I think. Oh, I think I would go with Owen's speech too. I'm fine with have. I'm fine. They're both. Yeah. I saw a post from uh, uh, Michael who, who voiced Owen and he yeah. said that uh, he, in this post, he said that after he finished recording this, he didn't want to know what happened. Oh really? He was like, my my journey's over. <laughs> and I was like, that goes so hard. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's so fucking, that goes so hard. VA moments that go He's, hard. Yeah. yeah, I was like, that's so hard. <laughs> Michael, it's the coolest fucking thing ever. He's like, my I am Owen, my journey is over. I, if he doesn't, he said, if he doesn't find out what's in the basement, neither will I. Oh Damn. shit. And I was Damn. like, that goes so hard. Damn. <laughs> what a chad. <laughs> All right, Goku go unlocks Ultra Instinct. I think Super Saiyan is above yeah. Ultra Instinct. For me, oh Zoro's nothing happened. That's oh, a nani mo nakatta. That's such a good scene. I wouldn't uh, say that's above Super Saiyan though. That's a very cool scene. That is an iconic One yeah, Piece moment. That is. Have, I, have I got read that part? Yes, yeah, you it's have. like really it's early. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I thought it was. Okay, yeah. I was making sure. All right, so I think we have five. 
Okay. So oh, what do we have? We have Goku Super Saiyan. We have Rock Lee takes off the training weights. We have the bike. We have the Jojo. Uh, are you approaching, no are you approaching yeah. me? Is that right? Mugatte kuru. Mugatte kuru no ka, Mugatte kuru no ka. Yeah. And I swear we had oh, one oh. more. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I swear we had one more. Oh, now that you've been discussing me. I can quote that entire if you, part. If you, if, you, if you ever meet a Japanese person in a bar and they say they're like Jojo, I, yeah. I promise you, if you whip that out, yeah. laughs all night. Oh, 100%. Yeah. They fucking love it. We had, we had one more, didn't we? I swear to God, uh, we had one more. Aaron's speech? Oh yeah, Aaron's speech. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So okay. Goku What's... Super Goku Super Saiyan is at top. That's... Okay. <sighs> it's 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 the most it's the most iconic. I just... uh, as much as I want to go over which ones you think are the top, I would love because I don't know how much time we have left. I would love to just go over manga panels that go hard because there's so many. I feel like there's more options now. <sighs> yeah. There's we're so, so many. The All the because right. uh, we're talking about now out of context panels that like the panel itself is iconic. Mm. Yeah. Um. Obviously, we know there's a bunch from JoJo. Yeah. What, what are other series where they have like absolutely iconic manga panels? Tokyo uh, Ghoul. <laughs> oh, yes, it's gotta be. <laughs> Dude. Okay, we, we agree right away. Yeah. That one's up there. That, Tokyo that Ghoul. That is incredibly iconic. <laughs> that is. Type it iconic manga panels. I wanna we see won. what, yeah, I wanna see. <laughs> we figured it out. Yeah. Um. Well, if we're doing that, then the fucking like eclipse reveal in Berserk, right? That's, what is that, is that, that iconic? iconic? Like I, the, the picture of it, the not the picture. Yeah, like, just, I, I, just, I, just the, a the single... image, not the story, not any of that. Or the, 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 the barelet crying. What's the barelet crying? I don't actually. I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think that. that's iconic don't in terms of like. Iconic. Yeah, I don't in terms of manga panels. Hold on, go to Google Images. Like, what is a like? Like, I'm talking like the like the Junji Ito like fucking spiral head or something, right? Yeah, Something that you could put on like a T-shirt and everyone would know what it is. Yeah. The Johan in the Rain one's kind of hard. Johan in the Rain one is hard. Saitama in the Rain also is hard, but also I think if there's anyone from One Punch Man, it would be like the punching the sky. Yeah. yeah. But, oh, the Eclipse panel, that is pretty good. Is that um, the Eclipse one there? No. But I don't recognize that one. That's not the Eclipse panel. Yeah. Guts going berserk. Oh, yes. Wait, which one's that one? Can I see it? Uh, this one. Oh, fuck. That's, I... that's iconic. Yeah. Oh my God. Or the other one is when he's in the eclipse and he's like, spoilers, he just gets his arm ripped off. Yeah. And then he goes, goody fissa. And he goes <laughs> fucking berserk. That scene is insane. Yeah, but in terms of like, in terms of like iconic panels, I, I, see, I see specifically this one. So like a lot yeah, of places that, yeah. that is like in that terms of like hard. manga. I see the Eren one, the end of it on the sky. I see, I see that one a lot, but I don't know if it's, I guess it would, it would probably count as iconic now. Yeah. The Aaron when he's above the clouds. I see that one so much. Yeah, that one's an iconic scene. That's gotta it's, be it's iconic. It's funny how he was iconic in the anime, uh, so manga and then- Not didn't, in the anime, Not yeah. the anime. Um, I, I've seen the Chainsaw Man panel a lot of places. Really? I, I, don't, want to, I don't really want to mention it because oh. I don't know what the context is. Oh. Which one? Oh, I don't uh, know. It's one with the astronauts. What? Oh yes, wait, that is an incredible- Wait, I haven't seen I this. I love that I, I What the fuck is this? I do not want- uh, just, Do you want to see it? No, no, don't-, don't. Is it a spoiler? I no, think it, really. it looks like a very heavy spoiler to me, basically. I, I would not say- Because I don't know what the context it's, is. It's hard to get the context of it. It's hard to get the context, but I- it, the, well, the like image- I had I, seen this Aaron one yeah. before the ending. Tell but me I that's helped. not a hard manga panel. Wait, that's fucking sick. Yeah, yeah. Wait, what the Tell fuck? Tell me that yeah. is not the hardest yeah. manga panel. Yeah, that, that, that doesn't spoil anything, so I no. have no, okay. no that's idea. Yeah, that's, uh, I've seen that manga panel in so many places and I'm like, no, no, I don't want to know the context. <laughs> I don't want to know anything about this. You that's know which Guts one I'd seen a lot? It was the one with the face where he's looking kind of creepy. The, the type of oh, Guts. Oh, the smile. Yeah, 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 the Guts. I feel like I'd seen this one more than the other one that you showed me actually. Yeah, this one, I oh yeah, this yeah, one yeah. I feel like is the most iconic. Yeah, no? yeah. like I, this is the one I've seen everywhere. Like okay, every yeah. Edge Lord online, 2015 <laughs> had this is their profile picture. Also, the, they, also the sad guts face. Yeah, oh, yeah. that's yeah. the other one. <laughs> the sad guts um, face. Yeah. What are some other? I mean, Jojo. Obviously, there's a ton. Um, Jojo, how do you <laughs> how do you pick one? I mean, we've already done the. What's the one from Kunumika. Fire Punch that's like really iconic? The one with the fucking face. Um. What? Oh, was it from I'm trying to think about- Oh, it was from Fire Punch. Yes, yeah, you're right. This one. This one. <laughs> <laughs> this one. <laughs> this I'm, is the best the, 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 one, the one with Fire Punch when he's just smiling. This, this is the best reaction. You know the one that I've, I've, 
I have seen for years now online. I still yeah. have no idea what it's from. And I know it's not the original caption, but it's the shut up. I'm going to strangle. I'm going to like, I'm going to choke you with my breasts. Oh, yes, I've seen that. Oh, yeah. That yeah. manga oh. panel I have seen more than my parents. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I know it's not the original caption because I know it's, it was changed for me. Yeah. But it was like, I'm going to, I'm going to, if you don't shut up, I'm going to use my breasts or something. Yeah, I'm yeah. going gonna, gonna to suffocate you with my breasts. Yeah, type in that one. This fucking manga panel, everyone who's been online has seen this panel. It, it just pops up on Twitter at some, one time or another. It always makes, yeah. yeah. that's it. This is iconic as fuck. What is this? I from don't even here? know what it's from, and is I've and I've seen this gear? more than any no, other it's panel. Not what is it? Yeah, that's not. I don't. Th I think that is the original. Alter no, it's not. Alter no, it's not. Alternative. No, it's not. It's not. I saw yeah, a different caption. Yeah, the text caption. is altered. Yeah, I saw a different caption. Yeah. Uh, but I've seen this fucking thing pop up. <laughs> you know what's also? <laughs> I'd edit. I'm pretty sure it's like what is it? Uh, nah, you're cool for a white boy or something from like what? Gantz, I think. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> no, why <laughs> for you, I. <laughs> I love this. I love this. Have you seen it? No, 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 no. You've seen it. You've seen it. Can you say it? Nah, boy. You, you, it's like, you nah. ain't white boy. Yeah, you're right, white boy. <laughs> this is such a fucking, and I know it's an edit. It's, yeah. it's an edit, but it's so fucking funny. Yeah, it's from Gantz. Yeah, it's from Type Gantz. Gantz, you ain't white boy. Yeah, there it is. You ain't. It'll come up. It'll come It'll up. Come up. <laughs> You've you seen this guy. Want. You've seen this, right? I have not what seen this. What the fuck? This is one. like this is like iconic Twitter reply. Yeah. <laughs> you are white <my> boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. This is such a fucking funny God's one, dude. Oh my god. Oh my shit. <laughs> This one goes, I see this fucking everywhere. Oh, it's so funny. Can we just type in meme manga panels and see yeah. which one of them's I, like- What's the manga panel of like, it's like the opposite of like the Kaneki one. It's like the girl who's like crying and just like, like that with her, with her mouth. Oh with yeah, her, with yeah, her yeah, mouth yeah, open. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like, put it put in every, girl. Every fucking Tumblr account had this. What? Like, like, which one are you talking no, about? It was like- uh, I girl, can't, I can't. Just girl, girl crying. Girl crying. Uh, and yeah, girl anime girl crying. Yeah, manga girl crying. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> manga girl crying meme. Yeah, that's no, the I one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. I don't, I don't even yeah. know what's wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Right, we're gonna put this one up. This one's gonna go up. So we got, we got, we got this one. We got guts smiling. We have Kaneki. Uh, <laughs> We gotta put you I white just, white boy. You are white boy. Manga panels that go hard? Or is this you just are, our favorite manga panel memes? Both, both. <laughs> both. <laughs> I just wanna know what that's from. Like, I might, my other favorite one it's it's an oldie, but it's a goalie. But uh it's the fucking shoot your goo, my dude. 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 Shoot your goo, my Oh fucking shoot! You. That's <laughs> what the fuck? That's so fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this? It's so fu I don't even know where it's from. Have you seen, uh, was was that one that was like? Wait a minute! This isn't Super Smash Brothers. This is anal sex. <laughs> what? <laughs> do, you, what? Do you remember this? What are you talking about? <laughs> I don't what, are you talking, what the fuck are you talking about? Oh I never heard of this. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. These are these are like OG ones, man. Um, put in like manga panel memes. Yeah, just type manga panel yeah. memes. The Gojo one came up. I just of saw course. The, yeah, the well, now manga. I'd win is like, obviously the iconic one. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh yeah, he just like me for real. Oh, oh that <laughs> is a good one. I, I love, love that one. one. <laughs> this is just manga panel edits now. I'm, I'm all for this to I'm be fair. I'm all for this. We need more memes like this. Man. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um, that one's goaded. Is there any other iconic ones throughout here? Oh God. Oh yeah, there's Nardwin. <laughs> of course. <laughs> um, Nardwin, all right. I feel like, is that a One Piece one? Oh my God, this fucking the guy. I've, I've seen this goddamn guy. Oh, Kagurabachi. Kagurabachi. Oh my God, this yeah. fucking picture. I feel like that's so gonna much. die soon though. I hope so, fuck yeah. me. I, I feel like that was like a TikTok trend. What's the fucking Luigi one? Yeah, right that there one is so Gito. funny. <laughs> what the What's fuck, that? what the <laughs> fuck is that? <laughs> Luigi. <laughs> Oh, is it an edit? It looks like an edit. That's an edit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's a Junji Ito manga. That's most Junji definitely. Junji Ito has so many panels that could be considered iconic, I oh, think. Oh, dude, yeah. so many. I feel like, what's, what is the most iconic Junji Ito panel? Mm. This hole is mine and mine only. 
Wait, what? Yeah. Show me that one. This is my hole. This is my yeah, hole. This is my hole. Yeah, what the fuck is this? Is this? My, this is my hole Junji Ito meme. You've, you've never seen this one? Yeah, that top one there. This it was made my hole. It was made for me. <laughs> I've never seen this. I feel like the spiral face I've the seen spiral, more. The spiral is everywhere. Yeah. The spiral. I, had, the spiral. I had a fucking t-shirt that I got so many compliments on that just had that on yeah. it. Yeah. Just anything Jinji Ito just All the, or goes- Or any like Tommy Air. Absolutely hard. Like, the one Tommy Air well. ones. Yeah. Yeah. Tommy Air ones yeah. go so hard. I don't know why. I just like, that's like my least favorite Jinji Ito work. Tommy Air? Yeah. Oh, I fucking love Tommy Air, bro. I like Tommy Air. Oh. Tommy is really bro, good. You, you can't tell me that and look at like half his other work. This dumb. Well, like <laughs> in terms of like long running oh. ones. Uh, the, yeah, yeah. In terms of like short stories, like okay, there's there's a lot of ones. Like an ice cream guy. I'm never <laughs> yeah. gonna forget that. I'm never gonna forget that till I die. <laughs> oh man, what else is that? I, I feel like there's so many we're forgetting about. Yeah. Can we find any more? No, I'm just still stuck on you, white white boy. <laughs> you white. <laughs> <laughs> We agree that's the best panel of all time. That is easily the best. How are you going to top that panel? You can't top that one. <laughs> all right. Well, let us know down below if we miss any other iconic anime moments or anime manga panels. Yeah. Uh, this is a lot of fun. This is oh, a lot yeah. of fun going over the yeah. iconic moments of whatever. Hey, look oh, at the all... Rent's girlfriend crying. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's also an iconic. Yeah. No, the one him floating in the pool. Yeah, with the fucking boner. Yeah. <laughs> that's a fucking iconic. Okay. Well, but hey, you. look at all these patrons, though. I'm They're sure iconic. they all yes. agree. They, you are all iconic because you're supporting the show and supporting our terrible opinions. And yes. uh, hey, let us know your thoughts and opinions on any of the top fives that we gave. I'm sure you agree on all of them. And if you want to see more top fives, well, we did a top five episode <gasps> over on Patreon where we uh, basically followed the TikTok trend. We did the blind ranking. The blind ranking. Hey, Here's a clip right here. Do it. No one has been bold enough to make a likable character that cheats on his wife. And we, we somehow walk away feeling like, it, we don't know why, but it's justified. <laughs> he's kind of the goat. I, he is like, if, if, if he was alive and real, he would have, he would have made Andrew Tate look like a, like, a, like a beta. But hey, if you like to support the show, then head on over to patreon.com slash trash taste. Also follow us on Twitter, send us some memes on the subreddit. And if you hate our face, listen to us on Spotify. And we will see you guys in the next episode. Bye. 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 Bye.